Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. Very happy to be here on this fine Tuesday. We're going to be doing uh, at least a cursed run today. These can go quite long. Um, I'll explain the mode here briefly, but let's get uh, caught everybody here in chat and your wonderful support, and then we'll head on in. What's up, Mateer, Fluffy, Kirby? Good to see you here in Amazia. What's up, Tavi, Gravenfear, Solution? Hey there, Ink You. Nice to see you. Great Rain. Zorian, Kassan Moore. Thanks for 31 months. Much appreciation. Sub double guns. Alright, well, if you've been living under a rock, uh, Slice and Dice did release on Steam and iOS about last week. Uh, it's incredible. Got also got a huge content update. It was already uh, super complete, but uh, Tan went uh, crazy with this update and added a whole bunch of stuff. Anywho. We're going to be playing Curse Mood today. Uh, infinite play until you lose. Choose a tier 1 curse at the start and after each boss. Uh, each loop, reset your party and items and gain a tier 3 blessing. So we're playing with modifiers that are a little bit less prohibitive than like on Unfair where you're taking, you know, Tin Curse right away. But it does get progressively worse. And then we get a little bonus at the start of each round. But we'll see what's up. We're going to go for basic on this one because we're... Uh, First time playing it here. Okay, got handcuffs. Minus one item slot. Permanent. That's tough. All monsters plus three max HP for each X, Y, and Z in my name. Okay, so that's like uh, Wiz gets a huge buff. Uh, basically, units that are tough. Quartz, uh, Hexia. All heroes add sticky to the left side. Okay. I feel like sticky to the left side is pretty acceptable because the left side is generally pretty good. Yeah, I think we're gonna go sticky left here. Also, when we choose curse, I'm gonna try to get in the habit of uh, reviewing the curses so we're all on the same page. No way we can uh, track all of this at this time. Okay, um, all I gotta do is kill the boar here, so let's just roll. I'd say, generally speaking, the left-hand side is one of the best. There we go. Okay, level up here, we got Whirl, or we got Disciple. What is this spell again? Glow, yeah, glow's pretty nice. Though with sticky left, that's less likely to happen. I will say world's pretty good. Who's gonna be able to hit this thorn? Leaves tough for this upcoming fight for sure. Oh, I am a pretty big fan of world in general. Heal two double use sticky. Hmm. What do we get here? Restore. All right, I'm going to take Disciple. Oh, I'm waffling here right now. I'm already waffling today. Not even 11 a.m. Already waffling. Oh, man. I'm going to take World. It's a lot of damage. I am definitely willing to do random, yes. But it'd have to be a situation where I really didn't want to lose something. All right, so if we hit here, it's going to do five return damage to the world, which maybe that's okay. Especially if we get a uh, resurrect. Yeah, okay. If I can get a block here, we can uh, save the thief killing the thorn. Awesome. So this does five return damage, so we're going to... Block on the thief, hit the thorn. And then we're gonna uh, whirl and poke this bee. Get poked. Noise. Uh, level ups definitely are not random, no. There's 20 floors in the game, and you do have XP, though it doesn't show on any characters in the bar. You receive level ups um, proportional to how far you've been through the dungeons. In addition, uh, if you have uh, like all level one characters, as well all level up before the level two character goes to level three, and uh, three is the max for most runs unless you get particular modifiers. 
Yep, you can also skip leveling up if you want to, and sometimes it's a good choice. All right, burst two damage for two mana. We got it there. No HP penalty when defeated. Replace the two right signs with blank, heal one, and regin. So that's interesting. That's good on mage. We fill up two uh, empty slots, though I'd really like to fish for mana on mage. Yeah, I really kind of like the uh, the bone charm because even like we run into like Tarantus later in the run, we can equip it on somebody to uh, stop the the problem. Now, Regen is pretty good though. Regen is a very powerful heal. I'm gonna go for the bone charm. I think it has more use later in the run, while the heart's probably better right now. We'll put this on our lowest health character, Mage. Okay, it's tough. Well, Thief only has three active sides, so I think I should probably take this. I'm gonna hope I hit the AoE whirl, that'd be really nice. All right, we got Sticky Sticky here, that's tough. Yikes, okay, that's really fortunate. Can't poke the back row. Fair enough. This one has vitality, so we can overheal on it. Let's overheal on the thief who does not have the... No downside to death. Yo, Loom. Thanks for 20 months. Glad you've been hooked on this game. It's a great one. Okay. Well... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, well, we can save uh, save Thief here. Keep it simple, keep it cool. I guess either way, the poke's a little bit wasted. That's okay. We'll poke, we'll burst. We'll block. I am also hooked on this game. It's so good. It's so good. Honestly, I've played a lot of uh, strategy and roguelike games in my career, and as Slice and Dice is clearly just one of the best if you enjoy uh, uh, dice games or dungeon games like this. It's got an insane amount of depth and uh, an even more insane amount of content and modes. All right, so now a ranger or cleric. I'm a big fan of cleric because uh, it's a gray that offers mana, which is pretty huge. Two shield, two heals, not a bad one. Also, this spell right here, shield one cleanse, is awesome on things that poison, because it removes poison. Ranger is also quite decent, and it takes us to a very nice place for AoE if we're fighting multiple enemies. Yeah, there's multiple modes that are semi-endless. Uh, Blurst is another one. Um, there's also Heaven, which you just get blessings instead of curses if you want to have like a, a silly fun run that goes on a long time. Still, we'll still eventually die, more than likely, but... I think we're taking uh, Cleric here. They're both good. Um, we do gain more sides on this, so the Thief has the two missing there. But uh, two mana in that cleave uh, heals so good. Also, cleanse shield, amazing. That's five damage right there. Two mana. All right. All right. So I'm gonna hit here. I'm gonna use poke because it's uh, it's cheap. Actually, with only one target here, does uh, using poke even make sense? Now, let's withhold our mana, and let's heal on our weakest character, Thief. We're overhealing because it has vitality, which gives bonus uh, max health on heal as well.
Okay, so this is going to be the uh, the heal cleanse. Easy. Um, now let's, let's, let's throw that back. Acolyte. Uh, I'm going to keep the mana on Acolyte. Uh, fair enough. I'll take that. All right. All right, so we're going to do light, which is a uh, single cast cleanse cleave. So going to do one shield and one poison heal on three targets. Well, let's top her time this mage here. Yeah, me and the wife have both been playing this on uh, iOS. It's fantastic. All right, this should be it right here. That's a lot of damage. Let's just check it out. One really great feature of this game is something I've been trying to get better at doing is if you have rolls left, you can still play out your dice and then just pull everything back and figure out uh, who should be re-rolled or not. I'm actually really loving this uh, sticky curse because it's simplifying a lot of the decision making. When you have no modifiers that restrict dice, it's like you have every possibility in here. Um, you know, if we roll something decent, it gets locked in on the left side. Just how it is. Oh yeah, you're dead. Oh yeah. Okay, so now we're going to take our first curse after our item here as part of our curse mode. Static Tome. Replace the top and bottom sides with plus one mana pair. Two times instead of the same pips as the previous dice this turn. Okay, that looks pretty good for Thief right now. Origami is uh, interesting. I learned something about the dice presentation with this item uh, last night, and that is that if you look at the dice, it's like if it folds up on itself, it makes the dice. So if you folded these sides up, you'd have all the sides of the dice, and this one wraps over, and then this becomes the top of the opposite side of this. I didn't realize how uh, that was specifically that way uh, until last night though it all made sense once we put the origami on because this one becomes this one which makes this the top which would be folding onto the other side okay we're gonna take static tome here static tome's going on thief because they have empty top and bottom okay worse items or hero generous what is this all heroes add generous to sides cannot target myself that's a little tough. Worse items is also kind of bad. Can't target myself. Does that matter for here? I guess that's not targeting anything on the mana, so no. Random would probably it could easily be much worse than either of these. I don't know, man. I'm kind of leaning towards worse items. I feel like item quality is important, but I don't know. You know, generous isn't the worst. Like the only thing you really target yourself with is really going to be shield or healing, and there's workarounds to that with burst. So I'm going to go hero generous. All heroes add generous to all sides, so we can like no longer heal ourselves with uh, acolyte or shield ourselves with cleric. But we have the vast majority of our options open. I think this is pretty flexible. What's a sedul? I haven't seen this one yet. Holy guacamole, why you got uh, so much damage, sir? Sirs? Yes, Sakusa, we, I, I did know that if you go too far down on minus item quality, you get cursed items like Pharaoh's Curse. And uh, yeah, we, we had a run like that already where we had a uh, uh, guy summoning multiple wolves. Curses are interesting in this game. Okay, well, I think um, this is acceptable. I'm okay with the mage dying this round because they have the, the bone charm as long as we DPS. Uh, this reads two times if the has the same pips as the previous dice this turn. So we're going to take these two and then we'll make this three mana, five mana. Um, 
honestly not bad for cleansing here either. I guess the thief's not going to take any damage. So just stop snake poison. Let's fish for damage. Or mana, rather. Fair enough. Goodbye, mage. See you. Uh, see you next round. Yeah, Pharaoh's curse is literally minus one all dice pips. Uh, devastating. All right, this looks good. Overheal thief here. And do I want to go poke burst or burst? It's only two damage on this one. Let's stop poison. This. Oh, the poke is dead. Fair enough. Get it now. Oh yeah, they died. Yo, Dirk Commissar, thanks for 70 months. Appreciate that. 7-0. Thank you. Okay, there's 2 damage. Okay, Cleric's locked in, so we're not going to get more mana here. Uh, I might as well take that. Just looking for the, the multiple damage side to finish off this round. Can't target myself, that's right. That's true. Get out of here. Alright, Fey Fiend. Fiend with the Bone Charm is interesting because we can uh, resurrect with no downside. That's kind of a that's kind of a synergy. I am an extremely large fan of Fey though. Add self heal to all allied turn sides this turn is the spell versus one damage to all hero and monsters. The cool thing about Fiend is they're just uh, uh they're a mana generating machine. Got a two and a three side and a cantrip side. I do like the utility of poke and the mana's pretty good here. I'm gonna take Fey. Because Acolyte, I'd say, is our weakest class right now. Definitely weakest class ability. Okay. We get a decent roll here. We should be able to make the Militia flee. Okay, well, we're sticky locked here, but the phase is definitely going to hit the Ogre, which reduces the damage on everybody. This does technically save the thief. This also saves the thief. My temptation here is to look for either of these shields and mana, because if we end up getting that, then we can uh, make the militia flee. If an enemy I target gets five plus shields, I flee. He's all four sides. That's pretty annoying. Definitely would like him to go. We have two block right here. Mage has two two sides. Hmm. This is already two blocks, so probably not worth rerolling the cleric for the three block. This is the only block side. Let's lock this in. Okay, great. We got it. Awesome. Alright, so I can't target myself because it's generous. We gotta target Thief here. Faye's gonna hit the Ogre. No damage for you. Uh, then we're gonna poke the Ogre. They hate when you do that. And we're gonna block here to five, making Militia flee. Well, 
Well, hitting and getting uh, three damage reduction sounds nice. So the thing with the ogre is when they get to the yellow pips, they gain damage on all sides. They gain plus one to pips. This is pretty nice here. I think that's actually the kill. If I'm not mistaken. Big time. Boom, bam, blammo. Diving suit. Replace the two right sides with the hero below base sides. Two right sides, base side. Okay, okay. Who is uh above Faye here? Cleric. So that would take the empty sides of Cleric and make them the the boost. Definitely does not seem bad. Uh, also, a pretty large fan of the Pure Heart Pendant for Heal 3 Cleanse. Cleanse is a super powerful effect in Slice and Dice for clearing poison and other uh, malices such as Petrified or Weaken. Pain. But uh, the skill we're getting right now, the combo, is really nice, so... Target gets plus one to all pips this turn. It's amazing with Whirl, we can do a two damage to all with that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is three mana right here. Four mana with boost, five mana with the other. I feel like the slate should be our target here. The Slimer is not super threatening. I mean, it does a lot of AoE damage. We have things like Weaken to work with it. Yep. Yo, Casa Reggie, thanks so much for 24 months, two years. Where's the time go indeed? Thank you. Well, let's just take it in like this and see where we're at. All right, so if I boost here, I go here and here. It's just a five mana. three sources of damage. Hmm. The kicker is I definitely want to damage the slate here. I think we're going to remove... The Fae at least, and probably the Cleric as well. Like, I like this for three mana. I don't think we're going to do much better than that. Thief getting... Ah, two damage is okay. But it's basically two damage anyways because of burst. I think we definitely want damage on Whirl. Though, if we got the block side, that would give us uh, a nice bonus. Okay, let's roll here. Let's say Weaken would also be amazing. Okay, this saves the saves the Fey. This uh, helps everybody else out. It's a good turn. All right, Fey is officially saved. All right, so we're gonna poke the slate, then we're gonna hit it like this. I'm gonna leave the rest. Yo, Kmod9, thanks for 56 months. Enjoy that lurk, dude. Appreciate it. Okay, then. Well, Slate's just barely killing, uh... Whirl, so we could keep this and uh, cleave on Cleric to save uh, save Whirl and maybe Faye. 
Yeah, if we take the weaken and we hit the slimer here, that does save the uh, the Fey for sure. Let's roll and see what we get. Yeah. All right, we can kill the slate here and block and burst. So this looks good. All right, boost sounds nice. Turns out it was even better than I imagined. Yo, Cypher Knight, what's good? You have a good day too, man. Enjoy your lurk. Big money right here. All right, Gambler Evoker. What's Evoker's skill? Four damage to the topmost enemy. That is a nice skill. These are very similar in function. They have a lot of missing pips. Uh, which we can solve with the uh, the up and down here. I think Gambler becomes a lot better with uh, with this item, the spellbook we have. Also, Evoker is not a not a bad upgrade. Four damage to topmost enemy is very useful in some fights. That five damage is huge when you hit it. I'm going to take Gambler here. I feel like our mana gen's in a pretty good spot already. Yeah, you can skip when you have like a tier two class that's synergizing very well with other stuff. Definitely not a bad idea. Well, if I can get a weakened two here, that would be a huge reduction in damage. I think we're going to fish for that. Alright, two mana, yes. Boost? I think we're taking it. Leave poke kills the slimelet. We're gonna do better than that? I think we can. Even the cleave block's pretty nice. Alright, cool. So we got two weakened on the slime queen. Now we have whirl lined up. Uh I'm gonna roll it. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, here we go. Here we are with Weaken again. Is this single use? Not single use. Okay, doing five damage right here. This unfortunately does not save the uh, the mage right now. We definitely take the mana here. Well, maybe not. Five damage is huge on Gambler. I think what we don't take is the, the boost, because the heal shielding side would be much better. That's good, that saves us at least. Ooh, empty on Gambler again, that's rude. That's rude. All right, I'm going to cast a uh, circle here, I think. 
Because circle, like, is every self heal. Means we get away with one, uh, one here. Not the best use of that, but it's enough. I don't want to lose mage yet, so we're going to do that. Tuffy. All right, Mana's good. I mean, boost, uh, boost cleave looks pretty nice, too. We save. At least one character with that. This is a sketchy fight right now. All right, with boost cleave and with light, we save everybody here. So let's roll these two and see what's up. Two mana, yes. I want the five damage side here. Fair enough. Okay. I guess I don't necessarily have to light this turn, so I'm going to wait. Which I guess with that, do I need to burst the... Burst the whirl, or can I burst a mana here? Ooh, I just had an idea. Alright, here's my idea. I'm gonna boost the uh, gambler's mana, then I'm gonna use this one. Then we get four. Takes notes. Now we have nine. That's definitely an improvement. I have three mana. I don't believe there's a point in using burst right now. I don't see a big benefit to using my mana at the moment. We can just use the next round. Not really a good poke target either. Alright. Ooh, that's definitely a roll. Weaken seems pretty okay here. You know, let's take Weaken. Okay, we finally got the five damage. Okay, we're killing the Slime Queen here, so we're good. Pretty sure anyways. Let me just play this out real fast. Okay, with that being the case, we're going to re-roll Fey, and we're going to re-roll uh, Mage. Alright, cool. Leave it be. Slimer is trying to escape. Yeah, let's get out of here. Get out of here. Invest four mana, six mana, future cooldown. Interesting. Can only be cast once per turn. Does give us two mana on the turn, though, if we are able to hold four, which on this setup doesn't seem bad. Add growth to the left side. Gets plus one pip this fight after use. Uh, that's cool on Whirl, for sure. Also very cool on Weaken. Weaken. 
with this monogen thing we can do with the boost, uh, it kind of feels good to take invest. I feel like there's a, a chaining effect we can get if we continue getting mana generation to, uh, you know, escalate our second and third turns. Hey, for Roar7, thanks so much for that two months. Appreciate that continuation. Thanks for being part of the channel and community for so long. Thank you. Yeah, they're both nice. I could definitely see the glowing egg on Faye winning a fight. Like a boss fight. I'm going to take Invest, because it's like... The other one, the number goes up. We can activate the Invest anytime we want. First time. Oh boy. Hurried... Minus one level up choice for boss list during fight four, <laughs> fight four, fight two times boss list instead. This is kind of nice to take. It's really terrifying, uh, depending on what uh, starting party we get. Could uh, very easily kill us, uh, just petrifying out all the dice. But the nice thing about taking this is like problem for future me. I don't have to worry about this till the next run on floor four. And that's pretty desirable, not having to worry about it. Hurried is also not bad, and it removes some decision-making, so it's, uh, maybe not the worst here. Though having a choice definitely improves your party composition. Alright, let's take the problem for future me, which is fighting two basilisks on floor 24. Actually, let's put this on somebody more tanky here. Or we got Sedul, Bones, and Sniper. Let's review our curse series. We have Left is Sticky, All Heroes Have Generous, which is they can't target themselves, and Bossless, so. That's it. Whirl would be really nice here, especially Whirl with Boost. I think we're going to roll this so the 3 damage is tempting. We can uh, very technically just kill the Sedul uh, this round and then block on Mage. Okay, maybe I'm going to take this. It's not the opening turn I want, but it removes the most dangerous unit from the playfield. boost here. We're going to kill the Sedul. We're going to block on Mage. We're going to take this mana. It's a painful turn, but I think fair. Okay. Who's hitting Faye right now? The sniper's hitting Faye for five, so they're pretty hard to uh, save. This will do it, though. Yo, voice, that sounds awesome. Great run, dude. Great run. I really want to get damage here on Whirl. I don't think I want that. Alright, let's roll everything here. 
Okay, there's cleave. Okay, we have a 5 damage nuke here on Gambler, so we might as well start with that on the middle bones to remove uh, damage here. And then we can cleave. Oh, if we cleave here and kill this bones, the sniper's down. This is uh, much better than I thought it was going to be. Well... Okay, actually, we're not going to kill those bones this round. Because then the... Uh, HA. So what we're actually going to do here is cleave the bottom one. Okay, here we go. Now we're cooking. Also, this fade doesn't need that heal. Why is life so hard? Oh, because human with brain. I've seen a couple of times the dice get a little stuck. There's a failsafe in there where it just jostles the dice if they get hung up on each other. I wish I could undo this achievement. No, I don't. Okay, we just got grave unlocked too. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, so this is a mage upgrade either way. Uh, we have Bonagain growth on the left side. or through, I think we take Jester here. Uh, I'm also a fan of Seer. This gives us Foretell and Invest, so we'd have two options for investing mana. Yeah, we're going to take, uh, take Jester here. Flick's pretty good. It's like Poke Plus. Since he has dodge, let's put the uh, no downside to dying on Fey. Okay. If we can get a four damage hit, we can make the... Uh, Zombie flee. We get to the X pip on the quartz, we kill the quartz. I mean, three damage cleave does not seem bad. If we got one mana with that, we could flick the quartz and then cleave, and everybody stays alive. The problem with the cleave is we're. we're taking three dice for six damage. Which definitely doesn't seem bad, but... I don't know if i describe it as good. What's our chances here of actually getting a four damage hit? It's only on boost whirl or five on the gambler. Suppose this way we're still rerolling the gambler, so that's good. I think that's what we're going to do right here. Leaves us the most outs. Mercy? Okay, that's good. Why is this on two already? Oh, because Cantrip was the last one, 
All right. Um, all right, so if we boost up Cleave here and we hit the quartz. No, not yet. We're going to flick the quartz first. Okay, quartz is gone. Everybody's alive right now. Okay. Blends to block to saves Jester here as far as I can tell. I can also just dodge on Jester, which is not not inefficient. Can this not be used on self? Um, I just wanna see real quick. No valid target, so I can no longer use the dodge. Interesting. Okay, well that was a side effect I was um not ready for. Okay, if I boost the mana here, I can then use the shield and get four mana, so that's good. Uh, you know, I'm going to take the one side here. Let's check it out. Always go back to rolling if this doesn't work out, though. I don't, I don't see why it wouldn't. Alright, everybody's alive. We're gonna invest for six mana next turn. The house guy was pretty great on my run, Molzaro, because your other the other heroes level up faster, so it's definitely still pretty good. Dude, that's a lot of mana. That's a lot of mana, dude. Alright, so we're going to boost up this mana here. Then we're going to take this one and this one and this one. And we're going to go here. Then we're just going to... We're going to get to doing it. Boom. Bam. Blammo. Gain the effects of all other tier two to four items of other heroes. Interesting. What do we got here? We got one, just three. Ooh, okay. This is two. Okay. Okay, so this, this reads, replace the two right sides with the hero below's base side. Who's below Jester? Gambler? Okay, what's making this? Obviously not there. Yeah... Definitely not bad here, because I have, I have ways to manipulate these. And we can't use the dodge anyway, so that's a really good emerald. We shouldn't be getting any more tier 4 items either, so should just be set right now. Hundred percent skill. So true, man. I don't know, boost whirl is pretty hard to pass up. Maybe even boost weaken on the slimer. We can't dodge because uh, we have the curse uh, hero generous, so we cannot target ourselves. Okay, this is fine. Does that mean if I do this, it goes to four? No, it just stays at two.
world's getting messed up here, man. Oh, hey, we can kill the Shade with the uh, Gambler. That's what we're going to do. All right, let's just play this out real quick. Uh, let's kill the Shade. Still dying, huh? Okay, we're all sticky here. We're gonna do better than two mana. I don't think so. We're gonna do better than boost. Probably can do better than boost here. Let me see one more thing here. So if I hit here and then boost the weaken on this. Okay, everybody lives with that, so that's acceptable. That's acceptable. I'm gonna flick the slimelet. That's a pretty nice opening turn, I accept. Definitely not the best weekend considering we can just kill the Slimer. Doesn't feel like the best boost either. Let's just roll all four of these. Okay, we got mana for days. So this is seven mana bringing us to eight. That kills the Slimer and should shield up the other side. That's a good hit. All right, so let's weaken Sedul. Let's just weaken Fnatic here. Fnatic's going to damage themselves anyways. Let's go three damage hit here in a flick. We got seven mana left. I think the right play here, uh, while we could uh, go in on killing the Fnatic, we can get him next round very easily. I'm going to burst here. And then... Invest so we get six mana starting next round. I think that guarantees both die. We just need one damage. Actually, no, we don't. We're good. I did guarantee it. No dice required. Well, I like Valkyrie a lot. I also like Dancer. Boost with the uh, the Rampage here is very interesting. I'd also make these into cantrips, which isn't definitely isn't bad for this fight. You could have add in four four cantrips basically with the uh, the emerald. Wait, is that how it works? This is... Replace two right sides with hero below its base sides. Okay, maybe that's not it. That'd be here. A really good AoE hero. This gives us two really good targets for our boost, so I think I am going to go Dancer here. And... Can we just give the spell book to Jester? Get out of that on uh, Dancer. Okay, cool. Well, weaken here on Rotten would be ideal. Okay, three mana, not going to complain about that. Four damage kills the bones. Rolling. Two mana is definitely one of our best sides, so we can flick. So we can kill two of these now, so both the... 
both the uh, Jester and Dancer are surviving this round. Okay, we didn't get weakened. That's okay. I actually stopped the poison with the, the Light Cleanse Cleave here to get the best possible beginnings. I think I flick invest. Like, I can kill this bones and not take the damage on the dancer, but getting an additional two mana next turn means we should be able to rally it forward. We're basically trading four damage for two mana. Eh, maybe killing the bones is better. Not unreasonable we could invest next round. Yo, Nutcurtle, thanks so much for 62 months and that prime continuation. Thank you. We again want Weaken on Faye for sure. Don't need a boost here. Let's just roll again. Okay. Eh, I think we're going to go for the pre-cleanse here if we can. Okay, we got Weaken. Awesome. And we got a reroll. Let's just uh, hit it up. Noise. Casual 7 damage. Okay, now we're definitely going to invest here. Yep, you can pre-cleanse um, any status effect. Pain, Weaken, Petrify, Poison. Four damage on Jester sounds cool. Is that enough? We're very close. I think this actually does it. Let's find out if that's true. That went really good. At right and plus one pip to the middle side. Plus one for each unused ally they become used. Okay, this is really good on Whirl, because uh, if we have uh, four unused allies, we can have a plus five. We could clear the fight, like this fight, in one hit. Add pair to all heal, self-heal sides. Two times has the pips of the previous dice this turn. That's certainly not bad for Fey. Oh, this allows double boost. And then it will also uh, transpose down to the cleric. Well, I think being able to double boost on four dice sounds better than Whirl having a nuke. Oh, hero below's base sides. Okay, we're not getting the doubling. I still think this is very comparable. I just misunderstood there. Uh, one really cool thing you can do in this game, if you're unsure if an item is going to work uh, a particular way, you can always copy and then paste it uh, in, the, in the paste mode and try out whatever the, the thing is. Cannot lock more than three dice at a time. All heroes add pain to all sides with exactly three pips. We have a three pips. Problem is, this also persists to the next round. So we're going to go slippery dice here. Cannot lock more than three dice. That's... Not bad. Not good. It is a curse, but not bad. Okay. If I can get uh, a single hit here, then I can double boost this and rampage down this entire uh, setup. Okay, hey, there's a one right there. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to say done rolling. We're going to pull these in. We can still pull the dice back out. But uh, clicking done rolling is how you lock the remaining two when you can only lock three out of five. All right, so we're going to cleave. Let's just say here. And we're going to boost this. We're going to use it. We're going to use it again. 
Done. Boom, get roasted. Please excuse me for just a sec, just using the restroom real quick, and then we'll continue this uh, very cursed run. I'll leave the curse up here on screen uh, during this short intermission. I won't be but a minute or two. Okay, we're not going to replace Faye here under pretty much any circumstances because we're it's giving us this boost and then the boost on the Cleric too, which is enabler for uh, the Dancer and Whirl. I don't know if I've taken Wraith yet. Kill an ally, then heal five to all allies. <laughs> okay, that's kind of rude. Of a fair. Blaze 13 damage for six. This is within reach. Two mana, sticky bloodlust. Plus one pip for each. That's a great synergy with Whirl and Dancer. Okay, Warlock it is. What is what does this do? Okay, that's fine. We get a four damage hit where it was an X. Okay. You ho, 10 or 12 notes off. Thanks for 15 months. You the man. No, but you. Chomp's a pretty scary enemy here. I'm a, a little bit worried. Okay. Well, I mean, here's a boost. And also, if I get, if I use this right now, I get two mana, so that's uh, certainly not untempting. I could still prefer a weaken on the Fey. And do I value mana more than I value? Hmm. Warlock definitely has a better side than four damage. I'm not sure rolling on Faye here is actually smart. I guess the double boost goes a long way. Let's roll it. Mm. Four damage and Whirl kills a snake. I'm going to take this uh, heal. Can't be locked right, so I have to lock both right now if I want them. Oh, boy. All right, let's just lock this in real quick and see uh, see what's going on. All right, so we got like uh, four damage. Whirl. If I go like here... What else if I boost this now? Nothing. Yeah. This 
The heal two gets so much better if we get other stuff. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna toss him here. Let's see what happens. We are very fortunate, is what happened. Okay, so let's uh, boost two, boost one. Spin it. Hit him. Self-heal three should almost kill the chomp while stabilizing there. I am absolutely not going to do better than that on a round, I'm certain. Okay, well, this kills the, the chomp, right? The spin kills the chomp. I think this should be fine. Spin kills the chomp. We boost the weaken. They're dead. That went well. Copy the left side onto the rightmost side. Add self-shield to all damage sides. Well, Ornate Hilt's pretty nutty on Dancer for the, uh... Basically counteracts the pain here. It's definitely not bad on Whirl either. Additionally, moving this, uh, two mana sticky Bloodlust to the right-hand side gives us a two and six chance to have the biggest mana gain possible. I mean, I like think on like a crowded fight that has, um, let's say, seven enemies. If we whirl and then have sticky bloodlust, we go up to nine mana right away. That's uh, that's game changing. But I, I like the ornate hilt here. It's definitely good. Um, it's all it's all positives here. Oh, how about the uh, how about the pocket mirror on dancer, getting the double rampage that seems even better i don't know about that random tier seven ain't bad either uh self shield does not actually target the character so i don't believe there's a, a downside to the curse we have here which is cannot target self i don't believe That'll be it. What I think happens in this case would be we, uh, when, like, the cantrip procs, it's going to shield us for one. Uh, it doesn't count as targeting. It's just a secondary effect. I'm leaning towards pocket mirror here or pocket mirror here. They both look pretty stupendous. Generally speaking, leftmost side is the most powerful side. All right, I'm going to take Pocket Mirror here. I'll put it on uh, Dancer. Bless you. For this fight, at least, this is better. We're not going to be doing a lot of whirling here. Okay, double boost, double cleanse, this saves the Fey. This also, oh, there's no petrifying happening, never mind. I don't think either of these is uh, the option I want. Okay, we got the Bloodlust Monocide. Nobody's damaged. Let's, uh, hopefully we get a, a AOE here. There's one. Um, dang.
Well, I hate to sacrifice the dancer's side. Like, the best we could do here is the four damage, so I think this is okay. Should be done rolling. Let's just play it out real quick. So we're going to boost the cleave. We're going to hit the uh, bandit for three, which is going to petrify the dice. We're going to gain five mana. Oh, hey, check this out. Uh, if everybody just lives here and we invest this round, next turn we can blaze guaranteed doing 12 damage. So we can just like roast the basilisk or troll. Hell yeah. Bit of a painful first round, but we have a, a really nice follow-up, which is removing one unit from the playfield. Oh, wow, we got the five mana again. Boom, get roasted. Okay, Warlock can't be rolled. We, we wouldn't want to roll Warlock, though. So. We're just going to fish for damage here, because I think we have the kill. Yes, we do have the kill. Okay, so we're going to use uh, 5 mana here, going to 12. We're going to roast the Basilisk. We're going to roast the Troll. Later, Tata. Uh, yeah, Captain for Whirl is definitely interesting. Paladin is also very not bad. Okay, Tarantus kills the topmost enemy when you get to this HP. So we're going to move the Bone Charm over to Dancer so that if they do die from that effect, uh, which is almost certain since we can't target ourselves with dodge, uh, we'll resurrect next fight with max health. Okay, back to our decision here. Whirl versus Captain. I would say that Captain's very nice. Focus is a good effect for da dealing damage. We also have Cleave and Chain. So if we get anything else that has Cleave like this, we can, uh, we can boost this up quite a bit. Paladin, though, over Cleric. I really like how Cleric and Fey are working together. This combo is going to get, uh, you know, changed here soon, but I think that Captain looks pretty good. Hmm. This three shield cleanse is awesome. Eh, I think Captain's the better improvement. We also have Formation, 2 damage to all enemies, then Shield 2 to all allies, 3 times damage pips, 3 times shield pips. Yeah, it's Captain. It's Captain. Well there, Cleric, you're getting um, pretty messed up there, bud. Wow. Okay, let's just look at it here. Uh, four doesn't seem bad. If we take these two, we at least get to investing this round. That's something. Doesn't feel like Cleric's going to get saved here. This does kill one spider outright. If I could reroll Fey here, I probably would. Let's just see what this looks like real quick. Um, I don't think it's good enough, but... Let us know where we're at, at least. Okay, we're going to invest now. Wait. Oh, that's from using itself. Gotcha.
Well, I think I'm going to reroll Captain here, at least. Yeah, let's reroll Warlock as well instead of doing self damage. And we'll take Cleric because there's not much else to do. Okay, we got four damage there as well and four shield. Are we actually in the money here? Four damage, four damage, four shield, weakened. Everybody lived. Okay. I accept. That was a really nice roll. Well, boost three is definitely good. Uh, it's also safe to say the captain the saves the face. So let's roll. Eight damage is eight damage. Fortunately, there's no uh, big benefit on the uh, the boost here. I think since we have this, we might actually roll these three. Yeah, let's take these. The this the four four four. Fair enough. Definitely not bad. I'm kind of leaning towards the the light here. Go for um, light to cleanse one of those poisons and save the Fey. We don't have any other one pip to make this a two boost. Interesting. Fair enough. Can't target self. So true. What if I uh, targeted Faye with this? That looks okay. Oh, hey. Hey, hold on. We use formation here. That also saves everybody. And then I can boost the cleric, which is a small heal. This is not actually better, because the other way kills the spider, and the block is overused. Well, it was worth thinking about. They were off to a pretty good start here. Oh, boy. Okay, we can't use self-blocks. We have generous. That's tough. But also true. We're plus four right now. Technically, this block saves. I'm going to lock in like this. Okay, four block. Awesome. Okay, so we could save Dancer like this and go for uh, Inspire to get Blaze working. Huh. Well, let's just take a look at it real quick. Oh, it has no value on that side. Okay. I guess we're rolling those then. Didn't realize we were weakened like that. Yikes. No valid targets. I think that's how it's got to be. We still got a good chance to get to Blaze next round. And then we'll... Yeah, I like clearing the poison here. How did this get one pip now? Uh, 
Oh, okay, okay. So if we cleanse first, then we can go here. Then we can invest and set up blades. Yep, generous is definitely a curse. It stops you from targeting yourself. Um. Okay, he has 20 health. We have 13 here. I take this and we're still back at 4 mana after saving the Warlock. So it's 13, 17, 21. Should work. Okay, so I'm going to cast Circle here, which makes everybody self-heal with their abilities. And we're going to hit here. And, uh, oh. We're going to boost here. And don't you worry, they'll be coming back with uh, full health next fight because we've equipped the Bone Charm. All right, choose an item. Plus two pips to the two right sides. Hot Dog and Tusk. Plus one pip to all heal, self-heal sides. Oh, also plus one pip to all shield, self-shield. Singularity seems kind of bananas on Cleric right now, though they're going to get replaced. Um, also, pretty good on Captain if we put the Pocket Mirror on them with that, so they'd have uh, 3 damage cleave, 5 damage focus on the right-hand side. That sounds pretty awesome. Uh, we could additionally put this on the Dancer to have... Six damage uh, hits and a three damage starting rampage. I feel like Singularity gives a more consistent stat bonus. All right, let's check our curse here. Okay. Expose middle. Middle hero two times the incoming damage if gained no shields. That's not the worst. Must be equipped upon death. Summon a wolf permanent item. I am guessing that since the cursed item, we roll over to the uh, the new the new loop that this item is going to follow us, and we have to equip it on somebody. Definitely seems that way. Well, I kind of I kind of like the eye tracked because Wolf's not the end of the world here. And right now we're not losing anybody. So at least on our first cursed run here, so let's get further. I can see exposed middle being difficult. It basically means you have to shield the middle in order to stop this effect. So we're going to take tracked. We're going to toss it on the captain. And also now it's time for singularity. I think we might be done with the polished emerald here. Eh, maybe not. You have pocket mirror right now, which I think is a little bit weakened. Let's try pocket mirror over here. And I probably don't want the tract on the uh, warlock. All right, five damage focus, three damage cleave. Looks pretty nice. We could also additionally go like this for three three heart boost. Kind of feels like the three boost is a little more consistent. We have more uh, hits. We can still hit a cleave and then boost that.
If we used a three before this, so you're right, we could get a six boost, but we'd have to hit roll a three dice, which is not too plentiful here. One kind of downside to this, we are removing one activators for the um, the boost here. Let's go for consistency with this. We'll go for just a damage hit. I'm hesitating here because the best thing we have going on in the build is the blaze. Yeah, you just have to I have the item equipped anywhere uh, on your build. Grab him here before you continue. Maybe more consistent damage would be like this. The three damage rampage is very powerful. I think I'm going to take this because this can just break a fight open um, immediately. And let's put the eye on the captain who's the least likely to die here. Okay, six damage hit is pretty hard to pass. The block does straight up save the uh, the dancers. So that's tempting too. You know what else saves here? One mana light, which is uh, looking good. Captain has some other good sides for boost. Worth taking boost on cleric here. Can also a reroll dancer. I mean, it's, it looks like a nice opener, but if we get something else, it's even better. We could additionally take the. Um, these two and go for formation for block two damage two on all not um not uninspiring i'm gonna keep this and then i'm gonna roll oh man those boosts are so good though all right here we go we're rolling. All right. Well, this certainly isn't bad. Let's go done rolling here and see what we can do. All right. So we're going to start by hitting the zombie for four. And then we're going to cleave the basilisk. Actually, let's cleave the demon here. Oh, it still blocks it there. Hmm. Fair enough. Gives us enough mana. Hold on, there's one better play here. Go here, then we're gonna go here. Put it on Captain, I guess. Seven. So we can't take out the Basilisk, we can also just take out the Demon outright. That's uh, not untempting. Basilisk annoying for the Petrify, but they don't actually do that much damage. I think we take out the Demon here. Oh, that's right. Demon has to be taken out with... Uh, these had to be taken out with actual dice. Okay, well in that case, we'll just block here and... Roast the Basilisk. I'm also going to cleanse here to remove the... Uh, the Petrify that just happened on the Captain. And save, save health. 
In fact, save the health here. Eh. There we go. Alright, well, pain is very tough to deal with there. This is nice, though. Okay, cleaves adequate. Alright, so we're gonna go uh, two mana heal on Dancer. We're gonna boost cleave. It's gonna give us two mana as well. We go here. Thank you, S'more, for bringing Trickster all the way over here. What a good kidder. I'm going to invest here. I'm going to take out these Wisps. We're just going to call that good. We're, we're hitting six mana next turn. We just need one damaging dice in order to finish this off now. There it is. We're just going to go, boom, get roasted. Got him. Okay. All right, Stoic or Doctor? What does Doctor do? Liquor, heal 10, cleanse. So it completely cleanses the target. Okay. All right, as a goal here for a small achievement, I'm not necessarily an achievement hunter, but this is an easy one to get. We're going to try to let the barrel flee here, I think. I don't actually think this unlocks anything, but uh, you do get unlocks at certain sets of achievements. Anywho. One damage to all heroes and monsters. Poison sticky. Ooh. Not always going to want to do that. I think stoic looks nice here for stun. Maybe looking at a different... Uh, different use on the... the item we have here. But stoic's definitely it. I mean, 15 health stun is... nuts. I mean, the diving helmet looks fine here. We get a four damage side on Warlock. I, I Like, the boost is really nice, but it's becoming less useful. And these pull damage onto the Stoic can be very, um... Very nice. Thank you, Pin Pin, for bringing Tiny Feather. Very good. Very good. Also gonna put the Wolf on the Stoic. That's interesting, Shane, your life. I'm playing on uh, iOS. We do get the lines. There might be an option for that or maybe a UI scaling thing. Could be different on phone from tablet, too. Interesting helmet, too. Oh, the boost is definitely the best one. So basically, the emerald is copying only the helmet right now, so... Do that one. I mean, certainly cleave massive mana gain is not going to be wrong. We, at the worst, could kill the uh, the barrel this round. Oh, there's also a reinforcement on this fight, so there's something that's going to spawn up top. Spicy.
Huh. Stoic is taking a lot of damage this round. I think we're going to roll here. Okay. Not minding four block on the captain. Hard for Stoic to pull anything off there. That cleave would give us a lot better um, hit on the Warlock. I'd like to hit the side on the Dancer is what I want. Let's take the four here because it at least, at least saves Faye. Okay, we did not get the side we wanted, but we did damage two separate targets. That's nice. Let's hit Ka here for another damage reduction. Uh, let's hit... This car. Let's grab six mana. Awesome. Oh, man, we could roast somebody from here. Since nobody's dying, there's a definite consideration just to go for invest on this round. Because we get more mana next turn. So what do we get for not doing that? Oh, we could take out a Cobb, so I mean, this is a possibility. Just totally saving the Fey and then blocking up. Can't target myself, right? What does this look like? Okay. That definitely doesn't feel the worst since we're able to invest. What about this? This is where Cleave would be handy. The damage on Captain is very comparable. There is an advantage to not killing anything this round, uh, too, because uh, it allows us to not have that reinforcement take a dice roll. So since the damage, damage is pretty the same, it's the same here. We're just going to go like this and like this. And then we're going to go for the uh, invest to get six mana next turn. So we're starting next turn with eight mana. Should be able to do a, a major harm with that. But we are taking more damage this turn for the opportunity cost of next turn. Yeah, it looks pretty grim. All right, that's nice. Let me just play this out real fast. All right, so we have six damage hit there. If it's the target of the previous dice. Does that even matter to us? I don't think so. Okay, let's just start by hitting this car. Hitting this zombie. Hitting this car, which is a little bit wasted. And then we can go like this. This seems like a pretty good start. The damage on the Stoic could be replaced for the mana on the Warlock, we can trade that two damage. We can just use a burst instead. So I'm leaning towards re-rolling the, uh, the Captain here. We can't actually get a two-hit combo for the focus on Captain on anybody. Uh, additionally, uh, we could... Tr Let me try a different way. Hold on. Let's go with the barrel first. That takes out the zombie, no problem. Let me go... Oh, yeah. 
Uh, falling to the, the back row is quite, quite annoying. Yeah, we're not going to get the dice combo. That's fair. Yeah, we'll just go for the invest again. Oh, the captain's sticky. I can't even re-roll that. Well, a decent argument here to fish for the Warlock's uh, Monogain side. Okay, so we were hitting here, and then we were hitting uh, here, and here. We'll just do it this way, keep it simple. Nobody taking damage is definitely good enough. Alright, I got a heal here. This looks good too. Fair enough. Boom, get roasted. Overflowing at Chalice. Add Fizz to the three right sides. Plus one pip for each ability used this turn. Okay. Three right hand side. Definitely pretty good on Faye. Alright, second heart plus one HP for each HP. That brings Stoic up to 30 health with the three block poles. That's pretty spicy. I think I like the guarantee of health. I definitely want that on Stoic, who's going to be a certified tank. He could literally stun a boss in some cases here. Uh, double chomp's tough. Does this damage the top or the bottom first? Top most. No, we're going bottom. Top most first on Dancer. All right. I think that's a roll for me. We're going to stun one of the chomps or the spiker. So stoic's great. Okay, I'm not minding the block here. Also not minding four mana just to go invest. Let's uh let's check this out real fast. Alright, so we're gonna stun the Chompers killing Faye. Who's also doing more damage. We're gonna hit this Chomper after blocking. Oh, hey, you know what looks kind of good here? The formation. Hmm. Amant convinced here on that formation. Let's see what it looks like the other way. The issue is here is going to be very hard to save the Warlock and Dancer if I take this route. So maybe the formation is better. Ah. Well, I'm liking this route better. 
We do have a slightly lower health here on Warlock, which is complicated, but we have option when which one we hit now. Also, hold on. Doesn't quite stop it, huh? Okay, what if... Still roll here, too, if we want. What if we block here? Does this kill the dancer? This does not kill the dancer. Okay, this is it. It's almost it. Alright, so dice that we can reroll here again. I think four blocks correct. I could see the uh, this being better than the four mana gain this turn, because the mana gain cost me health. Maybe if we roll the four damage side, even the three damage side uh, kind of works here. Let's re-roll Fey and Warlock. All right, two mana is nice. We'll heal Dancer here. We'll kill. This chomp up here. This is also a self heal, which is amazing. All right, that's definitely the one. And let's go ahead and block on. Block on Dancer before they hit. All right, sweet. Dancer's quite tough to use here with the self damage on that. And the return damage. Oh, we can stun and then hit for six. That doesn't look too bad. Oh, I see. It tried to lock these, but I can only lock three out of five. So lock the first three we saw. This is going to be worth four mana. We can stun the other side. Nobody's dying this round. If I use this on the spiker this round, the Fae's going to die. That's kind of annoying. Like, the way I want to kill the spiker is with um, a blaze. So if we can just get this four mana activated and then invest, we can blaze the spiker next round. That sounds good. We're going to roll at least here. Do I want to roll this? I think I do. I think block is very valuable to us right now. That is, that's it. That's the one. I'm going to block. I'm going to use dancer here. Oh, I'm going to heal dancer here. Almost. Well, that actually works out okay. It just makes the next rounds a little more annoying. We're getting two mana here anyways. So I don't actually need to do anything on the Dancer. I think it's going to be much easier to uh, go here. Can't target myself, right. Let's block on Warlock here. Okay, we're investing, which kills Spiker next round. Let's worry about the Chomp after this. Spiker is definitely the more annoying enemy here.
Okay, well, these two save each other. Stoic can pull damage onto themselves, too. Hmm. Maybe the Stoic pulling the, uh, the captain hit here looks all right. A tricky fight for this party. Does redirect work versus the chomp ability? Great question. Let's find out. I should be hitting pop first. Does. Okay. That's um very handy. So redirect's really good here. Yeah, redirect four damage, roast. Spiker's down this turn, so the, the captain's not getting hit. If we save the Fey, we're set. I guess this saves the Fey. And why not just do six damage here? Okay, let's go done rolling. Let's redirect on Dancer. And then we can uh, roast the Spiker. We can boost the sword. I'm going to hit for six here. We get redirected for stoic. Do it again. It's like we're set up for a win next turn. Oh, they're trying to flee. Yeah. All right, we have inevitable. Is, uh... Become immune to damage this turn every fifth HP. Self heal heavy damage error gains a pip each turn. Free damage to the top and bottom enemies weaken era. So we can stun inevitable uh, starting turn one with stoic, which is awesome. What we're looking for here is a boosted uh, boosted kill on these Wisps. If we can get it like a Wombo combo here and uh, kill three or four Wisps on the opener, we're going to be in a really good spot. Because Faye is providing the boost, which is really the Dancer's Chance, um, I believe that I should skip the, the upgrade here. I don't believe that there's any better... Um, unit than Fey right now. And yes, we can also use Blaze to get through two pips of immunity. So if we can kill off the Wisps, get like one stun, and get into like a mana save situation, we're going to be set up really well. What's the spell on Surgery? Revive the top most defeated uh, ally. Heal one to all allies with Regin. That's not great for this fight. I'm going to go ahead and skip here. Faye's super low health, which is scary, but um, I think they're our best chance at kind of destroying this fight. Okay, good luck to me. Yo, okay, okay. We got all the whiffs dead here. Um, I think we're going to take the Stoic, and we're going to... block for the Dancer, so we can get this massive amount of self-damage onto the Stoic instead. This does hurt our... our ability to uh, stun Inevitable. But I don't think it's going to get much better than this. All right, so we're going to try this out. We're going to hit here on the Wisp for three, which allows us to... You know what? Actually, I should just roll for stun here because like, I can do this and then do this again. Yes, I'm low health, but... 
we're going to be able to double invest this next round. Yeah, okay. We're going to keep the mana, too. Oh, okay, Captain's there. This still fixes it. We can hit the Wisp and then double Whirl. Yeah, let's fish for an even bigger mana gain turn. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're gonna hit here. Then we're gonna Whirl for Rampage. Then we're gonna use this for... Uh, 12 mana go into 14. We're going to whirl again. We're going to heal the dancer. Okay, gain two block. And then we're going to go ahead and invest. Oh, we can only do it once per turn. All right. Well, then. So, if we can only do it once per turn, I need to spend six mana here. Uh, Faye has Circle, which makes it so uh, all heroes self-heal with their attacks. Which is good for Dancer in this case. But. Yeah, that's definitely good. I think we boost that as well. Okay, we're going to get to the invulnerable here, so doing damage up to that point is nice. Or damage weaken. Yeah, weaken on Warlock's tough, but also fair. I'm going to roll here. One more. Pretty good. Feels like we're going to be over on mana here. Okay, we got invest done, so they're done next round. We just uh we just blaze them. We have 10 health, we do 13 damage with blaze, it's over. Boom, get roasted. Alright, choose our blessing now. Level up the top hero by one. Okay. Save spell. Learn a new spell. Cleanse. Heal and shield five cleanse single cast. Wow. These are both really good. So like this blessing will happen uh, every every run. The save spell, like for one mana, uh, it's basically cure 15. This seems kind of like a panacea for so many other problems that can come up. Let's go save spell. Uh, the save spell also has a good thing here. You feel weaker, all your items disappear, only curses remain. Will you ever escape this fate? Nah. We're back to base now. We have cursed item here. We're going to put it on our strongest character, Defender. Let me get all caught up here. Formerly known as Ginger. Thanks for 129 months in Power Cat. Thanks for 31. Thank you. All right, here we go. Let's 
summon a bone. So that's meddler, huh? All right, bud. You kind of need a two damage hit here. The defender doesn't have one. Take the defender's dice. Fighter's pretty good here. Ooh, with the thorns loaded up, maybe we want to go for a uh, shield. Let's roll. I'm going to lock the meddler now. Yo, ranged poison kills the thorns. That's awesome. This kills the bee. That's big. What is gaze? Game one, reroll future. Okay, let's slay. Kill an enemy with exactly three HP. That's you, man. Later, Tater. Uh, the mana pip is cantrip, and this one is one mana cantrip, but you also summon a bones. We'll certainly be looking to upgrade the uh, meddler as quickly as possible. All right, so we have medic for a mystic. I like the mystic's ability to generate mana here. Set a hero to four HP is very nice too. Uh, Pilgrim's probably it. Uh, Pilgrim's got big stun chances and also reuse here, so... Yeah. Okay, three mana. Uh, lock it. Oh. The shield does save the, uh, the mystics. That's tempting. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Meddler is terrible by any means, but it definitely can get difficult if you summon bones at an inopportune time. I think we're just going to roll this here. Well, am I going to do better than heal and mana? Heal, shield, and mana be the only one. Uh, even then. Nice. Alright, who wants to get stunned here? Boar's doing four damage, goblin's doing three, rat's doing three as well, so we're probably stunning the boar. If we stun the goblin, that saves the mystic outright. Tempting. Okay, we can drop the boar this round. We're good. Okay, so this is three mana. We have four mana now. I guess at worst we can cast save here. Let's re-roll. Looks good. Goblin runs if it has no uh, companion. All right, coin, plus four pips to the left side, minus one reroll. I don't like that. Ballet shoes, swap the left side with the rightmost side. Anything that benefits the ballet shoes right now. Guess it makes stun sticky instead on this. I think in random tier 1 might be it. Tier 1 items aren't supposed to be good. Revert all changes to middle column. That's potentially great later on.
right, before we go any further here, uh, it's going to stand a stretch real quick. Use the restroom, grab some water. Encourage you to do the same. We'll be back in a few moments for uh, some more fun. Please do enjoy these kitters during break time. We'll be back soon. There's a kitter is going to appear on screen here in just a minute. I guarantee it.
All right, we're back. All right, let's see here. Let's see if this works. Okay, so this allows us to um, not have the generous keyword on the middle row. That's something. Did you find one more treat, Daisy? That's nice. All right, I'm gonna roll here. I mean, the, the three mana side sounds nice, but we have Slay right now, is something. And we're guaranteed not to summon a Bones this way. Okay. Well, as a thought, since nobody's dying, we could uh, two hit and poison the boar and just mana up and uh, slay the boar next round as a guarantee. Yep, you got it, Cluck. I'm a chicken. It is a dice based um, dungeon game. So. Uh, each character has uh, six-sided dice, which has various effects, and items which can affect the dice sides. Uh, the character also levels up, so abilities will change throughout your run. I like everything about this except for the pilgrims having a bad turn here. Let's just roll it. Okay. You know, I'm going to use my once per fight save here. Okay, we did not roll into a bone, so we're definitely taking this. Alright, this takes out the boar and saves the mystic. The lost is still rather uh, hurt here, though. Alright, lost can't die now either. Let's heal on fighter. I'm just gonna burst the bee, poison the wolf, and we're well on our way. Well, we're on double Basilisk here, and I think for that reason alone, we're taking Seer. We also want to get rid of Meddler with Summoning Bones. It's a huge, um... Huge thing. Get out of here, Meddler. 
This also gives us two sources of poison versus the Basilisk, which is going to be a good thing. Um, change pink to, uh, magenta. I do think pink works, though. I don't know, that's a tough one. Well, so what other dice effects are there? Hold on, let me open the almanac here. Pink's definitely a clearer, uh... Uh, communication word. Wow. Crates from target, chain. Hyper. Hmm. Yeah, I got you on so sides of the dice. Like, yeah, that does make sense. I don't have a cantrip to look at currently. Let's find one. Yeah, agreed. Um, pink, pink dice sides uh, denote cantrip. Not necessarily the keyword. I think we keep it as pink because that's a clear communicate word. Okay. Hey, Pilgrim has nine helm, so if I... We actually can get three damage here? I'm not convinced. Stunning a Basilisk would save a lot of damage. Six damage in total. Okay, I'm rolling. Now, who's the worst target? One sec. Uh, 
All right, I'm back. The question I'm asking myself right now is, do I need to um, save this cruel or not? I don't think so. We have two sources of poison, so we should be able to win this. We can even use save on Mystic if we wanted to. We'll be much better off saving this mana. Okay, that puts uh, the damage here. That looks pretty nice. Oh, this also cleanse five. So if we ran into a really dire situation, we can get all the dice back on one hero with this save. Well, we'll definitely save that then. Okay, three mana's not wrong. Ah, uh, stun does seem a lot more desirable here, and we have two sides of it, so we could stop the Mystic from dying. Uh, I guess mana gain here uh, works instead. Okay, stun is stun is definitely best. This is tough, but fair. Which side is it? Two damage. I got a little idea here. Oh, no valid targets right now. Interesting. So if we hit here, and then I save on loss, yes, I do get this side back. Look at that. I'm just going to take out this son of a gun. Okay, well, if that is the route we're taking, then locking the stun isn't it. I kind of like this, though. We know these are right. This is right. Um, yeah, okay, this saves. Let's just roll again here. All right, that was definitely worse, but uh, fine. this be used multiple times? Oh, it can. So I can kill off one Basilisk this turn with triple burst to save six damage, or I can double foretell and hope for a quicker kill. I think we just take out one of the Basilisks here. This has to be the start. Oh, I was wrong. I was wrong. Okay, well, easy choice then. We're just going to double foretell. Uh, one really nice part about this is it allows us to save an even larger chunk of mana. Normally, you can only have three at base. Uh, so, essentially, this allowed us to save eight. Okay, poison's looking excellent. This one's got to go, and it will. Okay, mana gain goes to nine. We can save somebody with the save spell here, like maybe Mystic. Hmm. I think if we take this Basilisk out, we're going to be fine. Uh, let's just... I'm not going to keep these dice, but I just want to see what happens if we kill off the Basilisk. Where does that put us? So then, like, here and here would be fine. Can't target myself, right. Poison I'm sure on. Mana, let's take it, because that brings us to nine, so we can do quad and then the save. That'll save everybody, including the fighter. Rolling. Yeah, I'll take that. It's damage. Ooh, reusability. Interesting. Well, let's see if there's a way to do this the way we want to.
What I was hoping here is I was going to be able to double poison the Basilisk. I'm just going to go here and we'll heal the Seer. going to redo the heal as well. Put it on Lost and then we'll, we'll foretell for next round. All right, this saves Mystic. All right, double poison. No, only single poison. Single poison, double mana. What's left for Seer here? Seer does not have much left. I think I'm just gonna go done rolling and take this. Get two poison working. Oh, it's range, so there's no, uh, no petrify right on. All right, we handled the Basilisk pretty well. Terrarium. I like this item. Replace the two right signs with two shield growth and one mana growth. Clumsy Hammer. Replace the top side with four damage heavy eliminates. Must have most HP, must have least HP, so only one enemy remaining the Clumsy Hammer can be used on. Uh, terrarium sounds um, nearly infinitely better than that. We'll get uh, two more sides on the Seer here. Okay, here we go. Choose a curse. We well, haven't seen illusions yet. All monsters double the pips of all sides with nine or more pips. So this is great until you run into something that hits hard. Wow. All hero size enemies such as Wolf replace the left side with six damage. These are both burly. Could go random tier one here. I feel like these are some of the worst tier one curses. Let's do a little review here of tier one curses. Oh boy, there's a lot. Yeah. Problem with hero size is the size of this box. It's a lot of enemies. Like, let's just list off some hero size enemies here. Okay, these are all the small guys. These are all hero size right here. Snake, wolf, null, fanatic, uh, zombie, goblin, militia, bandit, carrier, quartz, blind, barrel, uh, sword, sedul, and warchief. Oh yeah, that would uh that would allow barrels to hit. I'm gonna go for a random tier one curse here. Let's just go for it. Skulk, uh during the third turn, plus one pip to enemy sides. That's definitely better than the other ones. That was much better hit than we would have gotten. This only affects one turn, it's the third turn, so by the third turn we generally have, you know, some sort of stabilization. We have some sort of power play in our build that lets us execute that before the third turn. Okay, what's Illusion do? They're just a little feller, alright. Three mana, yes. Okay. Pilgrim can stun either the Militia or Bandit, so rolling is desirable. I kind of like just taking the damage here, too, because we get the illusions out of the battle. Whoosh, whoosh. 
Yo, Ted, Ted, thanks for six months. Sorry for missing you earlier there, man. And Dragon House, thanks for 21 months. Per usual, if I were late to her mission notification, do sincerely apologize. I have a terrible case of humanized myself and no alerts playing in my ears. Just, uh, thank you so very much for the support. I appreciate it. Would not have this experience without y'all. Never forget it. Should be weak in here, I think. Uh, Petrify, okay. Petrify weaken on the middle row. Uh, yeah, I don't really want Petrify. I don't feel like this fight's actually that tough. Uh, maybe even just rolling Fortel and save on the fighter this round to uh, mitigate damage. Oh, does this have shield 5? <laughs> Alright. One mana makes the militia flee. We're looking really good. Is there any dice we have right now that would overkill and make the bandit flee? No three damage hit. Fair. I'll roll here. I didn't realize how awesome the spell would be in a militia fight. Because uh, militia flees, you have five or more armor. So we just use that on Pilgrim. Later, Tater. I agree, Kasaina. This game has a ton of different difficulties and modes, and uh, very easy to pick up and learn. I think, uh, from a streaming standpoint for me, I think almost anybody uh, watching a couple runs can get a, a very good general idea of what's happening uh, with the gameplay and how the different dice effect works. There's definitely quite a bit, but there's a lot of very uh, neat um, little, little art things in the game. Uh, lines uh, showing who's attacking who, and uh, a lot of things in the pips to describe what everything does. All right, band is stunned here. Let's just go ahead and load this up. This is assuredly going to get some kills here. We're loaded right now. Okay, uh, Ninja, Collector. Probably a Ninja here since Lost has 3 HP, and Fighter's uh, pretty consistent, like Veteran. Ninja's gonna copycat. Copy the keywords in the previous dice used this turn. Let's see what we got here. Well, it's gonna be generous always, that's fine. So, heal one, mana gain. That's definitely not bad. Mana gain's the keyword here. Single use poison can be a great keyword. Also growth here. Okay, I think we have uh, some adequate keywords to be taken, Ninja. I think it's a good enough, uh, good enough for me. Alright, here we go. There's a lot of damage in this fight. Whoa. Okay, which of these is attacking which here? It's a duels, they're both on fighter. Who's hitting the ninja? This is a duel. Three mana seems like best side for Seer. It's like a reroll to me. We could take the uh, mana gain to get mana here too, so that'd be four, five mana total. Save could save one hero, and uh, burst could save another. What other copycats do we have here? Really, Mystic's the only copycat remaining that makes any sense, so... Um, I am not untempted to take this roll. Maybe we just take the mana and heal and then roll it? Only being able to lock three of five complicates this.
Okay, that's great. Let's take this turn and see where it gets us. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, I see that. Alright, let's hit the barrel first. Let's start with this. Oh, it's double use? Oh, man, that is sick. Double, double use. I knew it was going to be good. I didn't know it was going to be that good. I'm going to go ahead and foretell here so we gain mana next turn. There's no benefit to expending this round. Double, double use. Yo, Netrunner383, thanks for 114 months. Legend. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to take the mana. Uh, keyword growth and mana gain here doesn't sound bad. A keyword mana gain is fine with damage. Stun, beauty. Alright, let's stun here. Is this growth and mana gain? No, it's just growth. Okay, so that gives it mana gain. Does this, this just gives it growth? Uh, mana gain has a more immediate benefit. That guarantees our kill. Mana Bomb. Replace the rightmost side with zero damage to all heroes and monster. Charge Mana Con. Uh, longbow seems like it'd be a lot more consistent. Probably on Fighter, just to add two damage range in here. Or maybe even on Pilgrim. I feel like Pilgrim's always trying to roll for the reroll side or the stun at this point in the game, so probably the Longbow on the Fighter. In my experience, Longbow can have applications long into the game. Okay, Growth Mana Gain is definitely not bad. Two damage seems cool. We get two Mana Gain off of this, too. Hmm. That's two mana right here with a damage. Mystic does have a better side, which is the shield one, but I'm rolling here. All right, two shield gross sounds good. Can't lock though. Oh, he did that. All right, mana gain. Let's heal here, I guess. Alright, we're going to do that. Then we're going to foretell so we have more mana next turn. A little bit painful here, but acceptable. Actually quite good there. Three mana two, amazing. Ooh, this is great for ninja. I think we're just gonna lock this. Let's see how it works out. Okay, let me see if this is gonna work the way I think it is. So we're gonna block here. 
gain mana. We're going to check the keywords here. Just mana gain. Okay, so it's two base sides plus mana gain. So that's not as good as I thought it was going to be, but still pretty good. Yeah, I don't see how we don't take that. I've definitely had multiple runs where I skip level up to keep Seer. It's uh, very strong. We're at 10 mana. Ooh, hoo, hoo, yeah, that's the one. All right, this fight's over. A really great reuse. Gladiator or Vampire? I think we're taking Vampire here. Fighter has more consistency because they have Longbow now. And while Gladiator is definitely good, this has a higher mana gain upside and also adds two attacks and heals in. Heal one to all allies, cruel. So we can get two heal on a ally at half health or less. Now we're going Vampire here. Okay, so the bowl currently doesn't have anywhere to go. The change we're trying to revert is healing or shield so we can target ourselves. So we're going to keep this in mind. Could be good on any hero later. It's reverting the curse change, which is persisting from the last loop. Okay. Now uh, we can stun a null with this, we can also kill a null. Sarcophagus is very hard to kill. Because it runs at the end of the third turn. But at the same time, I would really like to kill the sarcophagus. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is looking pretty possible. We're probably going to use the save spell on the first round to save some of his HP. Oh, I think I got to search for the double double attack here. The stun looks good, but it's not better. Uh, Poison would be good, too. All right, definitely not bad. I think I'm going to foretell. Oh, man, some of these sides are nasty. I'm legit worried if I rush the sarcophagus here, I could get just destroyed right now. I 
Yo, clock on my chicken. Thanks for seven months. Just thank you all for that amazing support. Keeping us full time and no frills here on Twitch in 12 years now. No pop ups, alerts, or sponsored gameplay. Just thank you all for the support. It takes a lot of people's support and doing a lot of stuff to make this content full time and sustainable, but y'all do it. Very grateful for this continued experience, having this place to hang out and enjoy games with other people. Hell yeah. I feel like best case scenario is to foretell. Let's try it the other way again. That leaves them with 12 health. Can we foretell? Leaving Pilgrim at only 2. Pilgrim at 2 is a little bit tough because... I guess we have the option to uh, infuse to get back above the null stun. Well, it feels like we'd want to speedrun it. What would be the worst side sarcophagus could reroll here? Probably the big chomp on somebody. Seems not unlikely that the pilgrim would be uh, dying next round. Probably two to three characters uh, being set up to die next round uh, before our dice rolls, um, if we do it like this. I'm going to try this. I think keeping the hope of killing the Sarkovs alive is nice, and I think it works with the, um, the foretell. We can kill off the gnolls. And there we go. Three characters dying. Yeah. Okay, we got double use again. Two block growth seems nice, but let's roll this. Give me the, give me the double use here. Okay. Oh, maybe disaster. We'll see. Not bad. Okay, let's see where we're at with this. I think there is a way to do this. We don't technically have to have the sarcophagus die this round, but if he does, it's a lot easier. Let's try this again real quick. So close. Only the Pilgrim had one more health. Oh, we also have maybe the save uh, ability here. I don't think there's anything wrong with losing one character to accept winning this fight to get the extra item, either. Okay, let's try again. So close. Oh, this is heal and shield five. Okay, hold on. This could be very interesting.
All right, so the pilgrim needed healed to pull this off. So we, we did that as cheaply as possible for one mana. That's fair. I do think there's an out here that saves everybody. I just got to find it. Okay, let's hit this Null first. And we'll stun it. Double hit Sarcophagi. This sets us up for the kill next round and nobody dies. We get a Fortell in. We got damage done. I think this is absolutely okay, and it, gives, it sets up for a really solid infuse at worst. It's to really save the save. Well, we do get one more mana that way, so if we do it this way and then I infuse, we're getting back six next turn. Bring us to Ace, that guarantees kills the sarcophagi. Also keeps fighter much higher. The upside to using burst here instead of save, well, it uses one more mana, but it does allow us to get a better infuse next round. Eh, I'm going for it. That's that's the way. Okay, we got three mana gain with reuse. Okay, this is this is almost certainly over. Overgrowth. Oh, good, we unlocked manure. Great. Okay, almost a kill. We're just gonna do this and this and next round you're done, Mr. Null. Actually, instead of bursting, we should just infuse again. Oh, never mind. Good enough. Alright, well that uh fixes that. All right, that was pretty sweet. We even got the sarcophagus. Learn beam. S five mana, seven damage, single cast rate. Okay. Okay. Learn hex. Inner strength, red and purple. Remove red and purple keywords from all sides. Okay. That would remove sticky on the purple sides. Does that remove healing? Like on self-heal, it has to, right? The self-heal has to be removed as well. Would it remove pain as well. What are the downsides? What are the what are the bad ones to remove? The self heal seems like one. Boost is red. Okay, we don't have any boost right now. Oh, also, it's an item, so it just goes on one character. So it's just removing Sticky on one. Uh. I'm going to go for Hex here. Hex seems a lot more versatile.
single cast is purple, but it wouldn't be on a dice, so it'd be unaffected. Maximum of four spells cast per turn seems pretty inoffensive. Minus one item slot permanent. I mean, right now, handcuffs is okay, but it would carry over through the next run, so probably not. I think slow spells is good. Four spells cast per turn. Yeah. At least for the moment, inoffensive. Well, Stun on Pilgrim seems pretty good. Fighter doesn't really have a better side than uh, two damage. Double use hit would be amazing, though. I'm going to roll it. I'm going to roll it again. Nice. All right, so we can get growth here on the hit. I'm going to hit Sedul to start. I'm going to hit Carrier here. We're going to stun the Carrier, saving the Fighter. Oh, they're still dying. Okay. Hold on a minute. Then. We're going to hit down here. We're going to hit the carrier, we're going to stun the carrier, we're going to use this mana, we're going to hex the Sedul, has exactly 6 HP. Get out of here. Get out of here. Well, Sears going to hit for plus 4 right now, that's tough. That's tough. Let's roll it. We're going to use save this round. That's what we're going to do. All right, yes. Oh, locking. All right, carrier would be the best done here. We do have double hit, though, so I guess we just take out the carrier this round. We can also let him fall to poison, which is... uh. An interesting thought, because we did use the save on the Seer. Okay, well, we, I guess we have this play then without using the save is what we do. And then we foretell. Look at these legends. Mike Poggers, thanks for eight awesome months. You keep watching, I'll keep streaming, dude. Thanks for that. Prime Sank, thanks for 28 months. And Magic Fags, thanks for 65. This looks all good. Said it before and I'll say it again. A recurring subscription is the best way to support this content. Just thank you all for uh, doing that. But as always, thanks for the most important thing, which is the time you're choosing to spend here right now oh good we unlocked cursed hyper guys brute or berserker i'm leaning towards brute because uh berserker and these pain sides are are tough we don't have resurrection we do have some ways to mitigate that damage with like save but yikes one nice thing about Berserker here is it can uh, dunk a zombie. I'd say Brute's pretty consistent. Can also go random tier two here. Let's take a quick look at the uh, the heroes for yellow tier two. That's this right here. So we got Collector. No, it's going to be Tier 2 to Tier 3, right? No, Tier 2. We're on Fighter right now. Okay. okay Brute, Gladiator, 
soldier, berserker, collector, squirrel, scrapper, and send you scrapper would be sick. I think I'm going to take uh, random here. Okay, we got Whirl. No, that's not bad. Whirl will be cooler with some boost, but it's still pretty nice. I think I'll put the two damage ranged here. It's just more upfront damage, and it's ranged. We don't have a lot of good copycat targets, so I'm going to take the improvement on that. All right. Two damage range stops the Wiz from summoning two bones this round. Sick. All right, we're going to hit the Quartz. Looks good, too. Honestly, this all looks quite good. Maybe the two damage hit here is better. No, it's not. Um, dang. Kind of a tough roll. But we are two damage away from killing the courts. That's good. Um, You know, I might as well wait to use save if I'm going to use it until there's missing HP on a hero. That way we can activate the uh, healing and the armor. Okay, two damage range kills the Wiz outright. Uh, this is going to kill as well. Really nice round here. I think the zombies definitely is going to be stunnable here. I'd like to foretell, but stunning is just going to be better. Yo, Kamari92, thanks for 13 months, that prime continuation, and JVO61801, thanks for 25 as well. Cheers. Too kind, everybody, too kind. Definitely fair. You did. Add single use in plus two pips to the left side, or add underdog to the bottom side. Two times versus targets with more HP than me. I like the left hand side on Whirl having the uh, plus two pips. Three, three all damage seems like an incredible effect. Oh, it's our first grave. Okay, must be removed individually all HP. True. Well, poison on the grave seems like a really good idea. How good would that three damage world be, though? Also, is Ninja going to do better than two damage here? Could do the uh, double hit. I think I'm just going to roll for the stun here. Looking good. I'm going to take the two damage. There it is. That's uh, quite good here. Let's just take this and see how it goes. Oh, you know what? It went um, pretty good. Pretty good, by the way.
All right, Artificer or Sharp Shot. I'm leaning towards Sharp Shot here. I like range damage a lot. I also like the idea that we can literally just kill a ghost with this ability. And I also feel like Ninja's abilities have been well, lacking, to say the least. Yeah, let's go Sharp Shot. And I believe I'm going to put the Longbow on... Whirl, actually. We got this ability. The one damage cleave is okay, but it does have a lot of downsides, and two targeted range damage uh, certainly has a benefit to it. The downside of this ability is if the enemy has more than 6 HP, this doesn't actually deal damage, so it's a kill condition, not a damage dice. Okay. Summoning two bones and the ghosts are going ham. Alrighty then. Oh, Hex is what we gotta shoot for here. Um, do I take this mana? No, I hope for the three mana. Okay, three damage ranged. Fine. Maybe I even look for the, the nuke here. Taking one block does allow me to save the Seer if I get one mana, too. I think I probably should have kept the mana on Seer. Alright, good luck to me. Not bad. Okay, if I go here... I'm going to use this self-heal ability on that. Then I'm going to go hitting Baron here. We get mono when we hit Baron, and then we can kill one of these ghosts off. Not going to use my save yet, because it has benefits later. We got lucky there. I think I should have rerolled the sharpshooter looking for the other ghost skill. Boom, there it is. Okay, if we take out these two bones, we're looking good. Uh, stun on pilgrims, not going to get better than that. This kills the ghost. Not unopposed to taking this. Let's roll it. Three mana, awesome. Okay, we're gonna lock it here. All right, we're killing the ghost. We're at six mana right now. I'm gonna use save here. I'm going to block, and I'm going to double foretell. We can take out one of these bones, but uh, we can also do the same next round, and then we'll have eight monitor to start. Maybe even looking at seven damage cast on Baron next round. Alright, stunning Baron this round is not out of the question. Three damage is good. Gross side also amazing. It, this big heal on the vampire does save the seer this round. Okay, I like that. I don't like the empty one though. One more roll. Nice hits. Hmm. 
thing with Baron is you get mana back every two pips, so... Oh, we can only cast four spells per turn, right. Well, I guess we lucked out, then. We are leaving some mana behind, and I'm okay with that. Oh, that's kill right there. Boom, get roasted. Add heavy and plus one pip to all targeted sites. Targeted sites. Like this. Earn. Add enduring to all sites. Cured remain when the site is replaced if possible. That does have some upsides, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, go for two random tier threes. Short sword and juice. Ooh, cleanse. Big fan of cleanse. Short sword on the right hand side. It's okay for a uh, vampire. We lose that big heal, but we do get uh, more consistent damage. Also not bad for seer. Could also put a short sword here. Let's do this. You know, I'm going to add the damage in here. I've been really struggling to find uses for those, uh, those sides. Okay. A tower, all huge enemies such as dragon, plus four max HP. Okay, I mean, that's definitely better than uh, the, the hero one. All monsters with 20 or more max HP on hit damage the attacker for one. I feel like the tower is less offensive than this. You put the bow on the sharpshooter, he would have minus one damage for his top and bottom dice. tower all right well, this takes out the sniper at least I'm also looking at double using uh, here potentially definitely gonna take that let's roll it World can't be locked. I don't care. That's awesome. Hex goes through the pip thing on the the demon. That's great to know. Boom, get roasted. Yeah, get out of here, snake. Nice try, bud. I kind of like taking Warlock. Blaze is just uh, sick if you have good mana generation. We also have stuff to take over those right two pips with Terrarium. The four mana self damage is a little bit better having the save spell blessing too. There's absolutely nothing wrong with taking leader here either. They're a very powerful class, but the three damage whirl has a lot of value. Yo, Izanagi, thanks for 74 months, six years, and climate. Cheers.
We just haven't really been able to use Fortell as much anymore. I'm going to take Warlock here. I also like Warlock. Put Beam over here. Terrarium here. Okay, if we get... Oh, we need a four damage hit to overkill the Knoll and have the Bandit go. Let's say by two or more. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me just try this out real quick with these dice. So, if I four mana here, then I save myself. And then I reuse the dice and I four mana again and I go, boom, get roasted. He's out of here. Three, three, and two is eight. Okay, other option. I think that's going to be the best play. I'm just, uh, I'm looking for something else, too. Yeah, it'll leave us a just an ogre on the board. I don't think it's going to get any better than that. It certainly seems pretty ideal. When it's right, it's right. Botany. Add group growth to all heal self heal signs. This keyword growth activates for all allies on this side. Ooh. What do we got for a heal self heal? These? Activates for all allies. So the the way I'm reading this is when we use either this, this, or this on the vampire, the corresponding side would grow on all of the allies. So that'd be that's okay. Metal studs you add plus one pip to all shield self shield side. Let's try botany. I haven't used the item before. All right. Oh, it has to have a synergy here with another unit. Fair enough. So this is the only shared one where growth will also go. Now I know. That would have been a good uh, copy check. Hey, what's the keyword in this? Copycat? Well, I can get mana gain on this. That's four mana. Let's just check it out like this right now, because it's definitely not a bad side. Oh, that's growth. There's not mana gain on that side either. Hmm. Well, stunning one of the carriers definitely doesn't seem bad. I would like the world damage here, if possible. It's not bad either. Okay, could have been a lot worse. Uh, we can get self-heal on this. Also give it single use, so no. Let's just go here. Let's stun this for now. Stop the poison from happening. Stopping the higher damage is also a little bit tempting. Let's do it this way first. My target here is definitely the Alpha, because Alpha is the one that can summon other units.
Yeah, vampire is getting rocked here. Can even clear the poison with this, though. So this is definitely the better target for the save this round. What are the sides on Alpha here? Okay, carrier. Yeah, oh, maybe the carrier is our target this round. I'm liking that better because we're clearing the poison off the carrier target that's poisoning and then we reduce more damage. Guarantees this dies next round too. May have a few regrets if uh, some summons start pouring in, but I think actually the summon might be the best side currently. Okay, well Cleave on the Basilisk saves a lot of things. That's a ton of mana. Okay, that's six mana, so that's blaze. Uh, if we if we blaze here, we can kill either Basilisk or Alpha. Let's see what this looks like. Though I don't intend on keeping this one. Okay, cleave here. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not going to quite save the vampire. Go close. And if I do that the other way, the world dies, I'm pretty sure. There's got to be some compromising play here that uses uh, Hex instead. Okay. I accept. Hmm. All right, we can stun the carrier here. Damage the Alpha. We can heal the Pilgrim. Let's roll this. Alright, we can afford that. Eh, I probably should have taken the heal there. Oh, man, we got the Cleanse Poison Mana Gain side. So good. Oops, all dead. Oops, all dead. These are both quite good, but I would say the Brawler is best because the Brawler plus one pit for each shield you have. So if we can combo this with the save self shield five, that's massive. Rampage can reuse if lethal also very nice. Might even keep the wand grips here. Yeah. Res 2 Heroes is always a classic, too. Also, uh, this Valkyrie gives us a better chance of saving Sharp Shot on the Tarantus turn if we live. Yo, Halo Jack, thanks for 30 months. Appreciate that. 3 0. Thank you, thank you. this a uh, rescue? Yeah. 
I don't know, I feel like Whirl's still very functional here, too. I feel like the stun's starting to fall off at 9 health. We lose the reused dice with this, too, which is a nice one. Uh, I'm leaning towards Brawler here. I think it has the higher upside. I'm going to go for this, because once we get ahead, that's what we want. Okay. Okay, that uh, nukes a spider. This gives us four mana. Do I want the four this round? Almost certainly. Stunning a spider doesn't seem bad either. What we can do is better. Two damage. I think the stun's good. Done is damage mitigation. Well, this all looks pretty good. Kill this spider. Um, stun this spider. Hit this spider. Four mana. Heal up that self damage. Go for a burst here. Nobody's taking any damage round one. Two more spiders incoming, but we did uh, have a stabilizing round. We're technically gaining plus two mana at the start of combat would be one way to look at it. Three spiders. Oh, boy. Listen here, Tarantus. Oh, this is huge. That's two spiders right there. Also, uh... This works here, I think. Let me just check this out real quick. So we go here, and then we would uh, hit this spider, then this spider. Then we'd hit here, and then here, and then... Ah, uh, do I burst here? I'm not going to be able to save it either way. I want to give myself the best chance to uh, blaze Tarantus next round. Okay, well, at the very least, we're re-rolling Pilgrim here, looks like. Maybe I also re-roll Vampire. Already established we're killing all three spiders here. Okay, mana's good. Okay. Super tempted to blaze uh, Tarantus this round to remove 12 HP. It's a lot. We ended up in the exact same spot, so we could accept three damage on Pilgrim here on the spider. Setting this up next round and go like this. Okay. That seems uh, pretty good. Alternatively, we could do 
beam. That's a lot less damage per cost, though. Maybe best, though, is just uh, bursting here and then starting the next round with three mana instead of two. It's essentially the same function we just had, except for the Warlock has less health now. I think there's a better way to do this. Okay, so we're going to go into start with burst. Boom. Yeah, this is better. That's a lot of damage on the boss. That's a lot of Spuda. Okay, we can use this twice. That's great. There's two spiders, three spiders down. This kills all four spiders, but leaves the brawler dead. Uh, Let's unlock Pilgrim here. Looking for mana, please. Okay, reuse is interesting here. be as good as we're gonna do mercy okay that's a little bit of mercy we got a self heal here no mana gain is really tough this is kind of what i was hoping wouldn't happen Gonna be as fair as we're gonna get this round. If we had any mana, we'd save the brawler with save, but we don't. It's a lot of mana. Okay, he got stickied as well. Interesting. Got made single use too. What are we gonna do better on the warlock than this? I think this is actually the play here. Okay, we're set up to get kill on Blaze if we land enough mana. It's going to be as good as we're going to do right now. Get the skull roll on Pilgrim into uh, Blaze would be the ultimate. Okay, there's five mana, so we're, we're into chances now. All right, there it is. Hoping to reroll skull on Pilgrim here. All right, tough losing two there. That's all right. Oh, a wolf got summoned because he died. That's right. I remember now. That is definitely a thing. I mean, it's just a wolf. That'll do. Okay, plus one pip to all monogain sides, triple the pips of the rightmost side.
Well, the plus one pip looks really good um, with the warlock. Random tier eight's not bad either. We just don't have a right hand side where the brimstone makes sense. This is certainly inoffensive. Okay, rightmost blank. All heroes replace the rightmost side with blank. Monster left. All monsters plus one pip to the left hand side. I think rightmost blank right now. Well, for our current setup, looks good. We can even replace it. This won't uh, interfere with the terrarium. We are getting one less stun on Pilgrim. Pilgrim is guaranteed to be on our upgrade choices after this fight, though. So let's go ahead and take the uh, rightmost blank. We have rightmost blank and leftmost sticky right now. Gotta say, really enjoy this cursed mode. It's, uh, it's fun. All right, this saves Vampire. Uh, this kills the Kaw with Beam. So we've saved both the characters now. Only Troll remains. This is fine then, and this is also fine. Looks great. War mana. <laughs> okay, maybe uh, maybe not locking Warlock here. Although I could use this at uh, with the save. No problem. Oh, this is a kill right here. That's what it is. We'll just uh, use two mana, save the Warlock. Go here and boom, get roasty. Stoic looks fantastic. I also like Witch, but... Salve is just heal two for one. Mm. Also, cleanse on the middle here. We are lacking cleanse pretty bad on this setup. Huh. Stoic and Warlock have a great synergy here. I'm going to take it. I might give the range damage to Vampire. Okay, here we go. Okay, well, this kills Wiz outright. We can... Damage here as well. I think Brawler's... It's not his best pip, but it's one of his best pips. I think taking damage on Stoic is actually a little bit dubious, too. Let's roll here. Yeah... One more? Okay, that could have been a lot worse. Hmm. Banshee's definitely who I want to drop here. Not untempting to just save on Stoic right now, because we get the full cleanse of the three plus five armor. I'm going to go for that.
can kill Banshee and one more damage. This three damage and self heal looks good. Stoic can pull damage here too. As long as Banshee dies, we're good. And we are. I'm going to go ahead and beam here for seven damage to just take out one Zombo. Okay, there's six mana, so we can blaze. Dumbbell. Plus four to all sides with four or more pips. Okay. Or collar. Add copycat to the top and bottom side. I kind of like Dumbbell on Warlock here, because if we end up getting the Bloodlust mana, that's like uh, guaranteed 8 mana. And we could utilize as the Stoic's massive HP to get a 9 mana hit on Warlock 2, which is, is decent. Yo, nice one, Ashen Fang. Cool run, man. Random tier 9 items, not bad here either. Kind of issue I'm taking with Warlocks, we do get to 9, uh, they only have 8 HP, so we have to have a block or healing source in order to even activate the mana, which is tough. I'm gonna go random tier 9 here. Triple Shuriken. All ranged and chain- add ranged and chain to all sides. Oh, wow. Okay, ranged and chain. So if we have any ranged attack, these become two times damage. That is disgustingly good. All right, hope we can kill one Hydra early here. This looks like we get a kill on a Hydra, so I think we just take it. Let's just see how it plays out here. Why not? Range chain. He's hitting the brawlers, so this is two source of damage. You got four here. One more source of damage kills. We even have stoic bailout, but there's our source of damage right there. Okay, Dragon fight number 40. Wow, we're four hours into this cursed run today. What a mode. I think I've enjoyed uh, curse mode the most out of all the runs I've done on stream. Definitely enjoy classic mode and stuff. This is like a really, really dynamic mode. All right, very short break from here around the... Uh, four hour mark just gonna stretch my legs real quick i'll leave the curses up here on screen for y'all uh, i'll be back in just a minute for the continuation of this run in the dragon battle the end of loop number two
All right. When I have returned, thanks for your patience there. Your level up is we have fate or wraith. Oh, we didn't get the. No, I take it back. This is our last character level up. I take it back. You know, what's fate's ability here? Heal to spell rescue. Cost is refunded if it saves a hero. Ugh. Kill an ally and then heal five to all allies. That's scary. Fate with the plus one to all monocides makes more sense than Warlock here because it's self damage. But, um. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be fate here. Uh, keeping vampire is also an option. Yeah, if I take fate here, it does uh, mean that we have less range chain on the, the brawler. Unless I wanted to replace the fate's two mana gain sides with the uh, longbow as well, which <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm going to take Fate for the HP upgrade, basically. And then we're going to put uh, Juice here. I'll put the Sapphire Ring on, too. Still very likely we get the four for the four pips. As well. Oh, we didn't go for the, the four pip one. We went for the uh, triple Shuriken, right? You like the idea of a five mana gain side, even though it's only single use. I bet after this is single use, it's going to. Uh, I'm going to have a blank that can't be rerolled. That seems tough. You know, for the boss fight, single use on the sharp shots. Perfect. Because that's lets a sharp shot to cough. We roll it and then it'll single use out. So we're not going to get. We can't use it on the boss anyways, so we don't really lose anything there. We gain the ability to hit the Kaw. Okay, that's uh, that's the build. Also, with inability to use these two sides, Short Sword uh, gains uses here. Oh good, a three poison start. Oh good. Well, that is difficult. Brawler would much prefer the, the shield slam here. I think I'm going to roll everything. Taking uh, the sharp shot shot, though, to guarantee the Brawler synergy is strong. Okay, three mana is good. Ranged copycat. So we can get growth on that at least. Stoic pulling the uh, damage here. Let's see what that looks like. It's killing Stoic. Okay, so we can pull all the poison onto one source and then uh, use the save there. That's possible. I think we're rolling Warlock at least. Okay, uh, good luck to me. I don't know, I kind of want to keep this, but what do I give up for it? If I roll either Sharp Shot or Brawler, I run the chance of whiffing on either side, and when that happens, it's really bad. Well, I'm going to say good luck to me. At least I can save everybody this round if it goes terribly wrong. Could have been much worse. I'm gonna block on Warlock here. 
And until HP is missing, there's not too much sense in using the the heal here. Okay, that looks like a pretty good opener. Uh, I'm not super pleased about all the poison, but... The game do be like that. Alright, so this activates itself. It's going to be range, it's going to kill the archer, it'll do 4 damage. Looks good. Three heal, three block, three mana. That's uh, Fate's best side. I think our best case scenario here is that the uh, Stoic pulls the Fate on to them. Uh, I think I'm going to lock Sharp Shot just because... This damage can disappear if this gets rolled. And then we lose this synergy too. There's four mana. Yeah, let's go. Okay. So that kills the archer and activates itself. Four damage. Three damage. What happens here? Uh, we can heal and block and mana. Yes. Also, we could do this, and then, like, this. Uh, I'm almost feeling as if... It'd be better to pull the poison onto Stoic if possible. No, the poison's already gone. Okay. okay the other option would be this, and then this. I think we found the route that saves everybody, so we should probably go with that. It's a matter of do I want to do this this turn or not. If I don't do it this turn, I can blaze. A lot of damage. I guess we can still blaze with that. Wow. Yeah, I think we'll use the leftover heal there. Hmm. Might simply be better to use this on the non-stoic, because the stoic's basically done his job here. He's taken a ton of damage for everybody. Yeah, I think if we use the heal spell here, I see what you're saying. Um, if we go here and then... It's not going to quite save Stoic, so it doesn't quite work. It's a good thought, though. Yeah, I'm going to say Brawler here has that range synergy, too. Additionally worth noting that if we got the uh, the steel chain being able to have that synergize would be massively beneficial. Uh yeah. Yeah. I believe that's the turn. Okay, hitting the bottom of the poison. Four heroes dying. Oh, boy. Okay, well, Stoic can definitely take one for the team here and block for probably Fate or Warlock to allow them uh, another source here. If I want to lock this. I want to lock this, too. Okay, is a lot of damage. 
This also self heals. Okay, there's gonna be some shenanigans with this refund spell this round. Um, I'm rolling. We can do better. Much better, even. Start with the damage. Blaze is bringing us so close to being saved here. Okay, let's block on bait here, and then we'll go here. Before we do that, let's go like this. Then we can refund the spell on Sharpshooter, refund the spell on not quite there. Still good on Sharpshooter. Saving Warlock. Saving fate. Stoic, I gotta hand it to you, dude. You're really you really carried me this fight. Thank you so much. Oh boy, there's a wolf here still too. Okay, that kills the That kills the dragon. This sets up the wolf kill. Got him. Alright. Choose a blessing. All monsters upon death, plus one mana. Ooh. All heroes plus one to incoming healing. All heroes plus two empty max HP. Alright, definitely I'm taking Essence Thief. I think both these are nice, but I love the the win more potential of this um this setup. Not bad for our first curse run here on stream. Okay, how many do we have right now? There is a achievement for beating a fight with 13 active curse modifiers. We're definitely getting there. Yes, with save spell, there's additional synergy there. I agree. No. Never. Alright, it's gonna go on Buckle. Okay, we got Meddler and Clumsy here. Uh-oh. Well... I think on Ruffian here, I kind of just have to take the uh, take the L and just hit the thorns here. Seems very likely. I'm gonna lock in the mana on Meddler. Oh, hey, I can use save on Ruffian to kill the thing this round. Hit the rat, sets us up for success. Great. What? Oh, it also does five self damage, right? The Dabbler. Definitely Dabbler over Clumsy. Clumsy has some brutal sides, uh has this self damage side. While well, Cleave is good and the cantrips are nice, they often end up in a lot of trouble. Dabbler is very consistent. Medic's also not bad. Uh, oh, this has great synergy with the kill an enemy, gain a mana. You can kill an enemy and then set a hero to 8 4 HP. Oh, man. We dabbling. Yeah. Hey, you didn't summon a bones. Proud of you.
Well, we can kill the wolf here. He's killing Meddler, so let's uh, lock this in. Great. Essence Thief. Oh, yeah. Can't target myself. So true. I mean, why not just avoid the damage here? We even get one back. Yeah, even then it still counts as dying in battle. No mag cane, you can start with the next half. So there's really no point to uh, leaving them there. I'm going to unlock Ruffy. I'm going to lock in Meddler. Boom, get roasted. Choose an item. Holtus. Heal two for a one, one time. That's not bad. Replace blank size with three damage death. Let's go for Poultice. On the Dabbler. Dabbler seems like a type of person to have a Poultice who's hanging out. Oh yeah, I got a Poultice for that. Six mana, it's happening. Wow, that's quite good. Hey, we can even just block up here. So we're gonna AoE on the rats here. Mana, mana, mana. And then we're gonna get return mana on each of these kills. All right, so uh, you're dead, B. Did that to yourself. Oh, yeah, the Basilisk fight. Uh, we're, I, I love Faye, and it'd be really good here, but we're going to go ahead and uh, grab Glacia to get rid of Meddler, because I think Basilisk plus uh, Bones being summoned is probably a lose condition for our current setup. Oh, hey, right side blank actually was not bad on Meddler. Interesting. What curse is that? The rightmost blank curse was not bad for Meddler. Okay. I would love to hit the this side. Oh, if we can get two mana and weaken this basilisk, that'd be great. So that stops the poison from happening. Let's roll it. All right, there we go. So poison won't be happening. That's nice. Roll it. You know, not the worst. We're going to chill here, which is two weak and one time use, but it's the most important use. And I'm going to go ahead and poison this Basilisk with Hemlock as well. Oh, goody. Four poison. Okay, there's a Weaken. That's, that's good. Humana, also good. Heal and growth on all sides. Hmm, that seems good right now. That is providing some value. Probably Buckle's best side, but with Ruffian whiffing here and only locking a couple. Hmm. Gotta have block to actually use this. Okay, cool. Looks like we're not going to kill this round. Hmm. 
All right, gonna leave it there. Woo -woo -woo -woo. Free poison. Okay, cool. Might be using save this round. Awesome, awesome. I think I am uh, willing to do that. We have bad sides on Buckler anyways. Let's get the damage out here. Why is this one three right now? Oh, right, because I've cast the growth. This uh, saves Glacia for this round. Okay, that is sticky, so I can't actually do it without the save spell fair. That's very nice. Uh, if I block for five, I can do this. Okay, this should be the kill. Alright, uh, learn Remedy. Remedy, heal one, cleanse single cast. I'm loving this. What does Polearm do? Replace damage sides with my top side. So we can turn Dabbler into a mana generator that way. I think Remedy is really good. We're getting the one mana return on kill, so it opens up a lot more possibilities between Poultice, uh, Save, and Remedy. We have a huge amount of versatility in spells. We do have the curse that makes so we can only cast four spells per round, though. Eh, I'm going to take Remedy. It has value for the entire game. All right, Hurried, minus one level up choice, or... Replace Slippery Dice 3. So this would mean we'd have a maximum lock of 2 dice. That's pretty tough. I think I might take Hurried now. I think in the long term, Hurried's probably very bad, but right now it doesn't hurt us. And, uh... If our goal is to make it to 13 Curse, which I think is maybe attainable on this run, uh, Hurried's it. I feel like going from three Slippery Dice to two is a major downside. I'll stick random tier one Curse here and hope for the best. All right, hurried it is. Hmm, two mana's probably best. I think it's probably best two. Let's just roll here. Might just be weakening the quartz this round. Okay. If Buckle blocks on the ruffian, this takes out the quartz. That was a sick find. Yeah, getting a 13 curse on this mode unlocks something. I don't know. I don't know what. Some kind of mode or something. We have the kill right here. Oh, can we also choose random too? Okay, so that's that's nice. If we really don't like a like one, we can re-roll it. That's not as bad as I imagined. Alright, this is our opportunity to maybe let the barrel flee.
Vampire is a classic. I'm in. Whew, that's a lot of damage. I suppose by taking these two, we are uh, guaranteeing that Ruffian lives at least. That's something. Can't use it on myself. True. Well, I guess we'll commit to re-rolling the, um... Ruffian, then, because we do have the save spell as well we can use. Okay, that's interesting. Perfect. There we go. Allow a barrel to flee. That's just all it was. I wonder if there's anything else related to uh, letting enemies flee. It's uh, open to turning on auto flee now that I have that. Add pain and plus one pip to all mana, mana gain sides. So this would be the one that that item that removes red pips would be so good on. Pain and plus one pip. Not the worst. Replace blank sides with one damage double use. That's really good. We're putting that on buckle. Is this... It does allow the overcoming of the curse. Good. Especially good in this slate fight. Well, blind flees if nobody's damaged this fight or this round. So a definite definite consideration here to just block up on ruffian with save and uh, let this round expire. We are very close to dealing five damage to blind anyways, though, seems. Let's at least keep this. There we go, double use. So we can take out the slate this round, beautiful. Seems good, man. All right, with save that kills blind, I think we have a kill here. Hard for a buckle or not. It kind of makes the wrist blade a little bit worse, but okay. Definitely think Bard's pretty inoffensive. Shield one to all allies, generous. Cannot target myself. Okay. Reroll cantrips, always great. What's the E here? Else. 
Shield one cleanse, one times blank side. Wow. That's huge. I like that. I'm going to try this right now. Buckle, Buckle is arguably uh, maybe a better, little bit better utility here, though. If I don't take this, I'm going to get a random uh, tier two. I think we can get Ruffian or Buckle here. Maybe we go random hoping that the Ruffian gets re-rolled. Been a bit of a dud. Hmm. Go random. We got Guardian. It's not bad. Shield 3, engage. All right, well, Guardian is the one for the wrist blade, then. Didn't make the wrist blade worse. All right, the end of each turn, one damage to all heroes and five damage to me. Ow. Okay, well, that's sick, because that uh, basically solves the dabbler, so nobody's dying. Weakens certainly good too. Four mana and cleave. I don't think we're going to do better than this. Okay, cool. No matter case, you're understanding you can only get a gray hero there. That makes sense. If it's only showing one, there's not a split. That reduces damage on everybody. Oh, you know what I can do here is I can uh, weaken the bell. That's 10 damage reduction this turn. All right. A good round for a save on Ruffian. Okay, if we hit with these two, the fanatic dies at the end of the turn. Promising. Definitely don't mind block sides here either. Okay, heal and damage. Love it. Block with mana. That's good. Let's look for more. Guess we can also drop the Fnatic this round, knowing that self-damage is happening. That would save us from needing to use save. I like that. Gonna lock the damage. Also damage. I think we're good here. Definitely good here. Save for good measure. Defeat 1,000 monsters. 1,000 monster since release. Wow. Two times versus myself. This is terrible because we have the curse where we can't target ourselves. Cracked plate. Minus four max HP. At the start of each turn, self shield four. That sounds pretty good. Uh, it's bad if we get poison, but we have save for poison. And it's basically like we have a regenerative health. So that's something. Who gets that? Uh, probably Ruffian, though that makes it so if they take any poison, they die. But it makes it so it's only 3 minus HP instead of 4, because it will not kill them. Okay. Heavy dice is perfect here. Let's look at the other one, though. Monsters, plus 1, 
hips to the left side. This seems kind of harmless until you realize that summons are usually on the left side, or often. Uh, other big attacks on the far left. Cannot roll more than four dice at a time. We can also not lock more than three dice, so that seems great. We're almost always locking one or two and then rolling again. Okay. Well, what's Ruffian going to get really that's not better than Cleave? Not much. Two mana, please. Maybe pre-cleansing, are they both on Glacia? Yeah, we're going to pre-cleanse Glacia then uh, with the save so that there's not four weaken. We actually have an next turn. Not amused, but that's what happened. Two mana, one mana. One damage plus burst kills us, Quartz. So let's lock the sword instead of the one mana. Two mana is good. I think this is acceptable. We get down to one Quartz here. So we're going hit here. Burst. Actually, we're going to go chill here to stop the weekend next round. We'll just block on Dabbler. Heal two. Let's go ahead and remedy the Dabbler. Get that poison off of there. I'm going to say thank you all for the great time today. Been uh, awesome playing Slice and Dice and all the other games we're enjoying right now. So thank you all for making this a one-of-a-kind place online to enjoy video games with other people. It is and continues to be awesome. Yo, Scrapper, this is the one, dude, because we have these uh, steel sides plus, uh, plus damage for shielding. Let's go. This could be a big money damage combo with the crack plate. We don't have any ranged here, which is tricky. Does this take out the quartz? Two, four, five. It does. I think we're going to lock these two, making sure that the quartz dies at the very least. And then we're rolling for... Scrapper can't be locked. We're not getting mana this way either. Yikes. Still a good damage reduction and removal of the quartz. Plus one pip for each damage enemy. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I misunderstood. Block on... Glacia. Two bones being summoned, not the end of the world here. Okay, that's three mana gain. That's good. There's the shield side. Let's go. 
All right, we're definitely fine here. We're gonna cleave block. As long as it's more than four of the zombie dies anyways. Well, with that being said, do we save this for the whiz at the end? We might. Yeah. It's even better. Only pips change when the side is replaced. This one has, like, if you have other item synergies that are replacing sides and pips, uh, pretty good. Single use and plus two pips to the left side. What's left side for us? Not bad on Scrapper. Also not bad on Guardian. Go like this and then put the wand grips on the shield cleave. Also nice for Glacia 3 3 weekend. Let's see where we want to put this. I think right here is actually it. I think I prefer the single attacks over there. Yo, Zarfius, thanks for almost 70 months of support. Really appreciate that. Thanks so much. Okay, plus one damage per enemy damage. So we could hit the zombie and then hit both the graves, or sorry, hit the ghost and then hit both the graves and then one shot the zombie this round. That seems pretty tempting. Grave 2. Doesn't actually kill any more graves this round. Killing a grave to stop the summons also possible. I like removing this. I don't think bones are very problematic for our current setup. That's awesome. All right, so no poison for you. You're damaged. You're damaged. Zombies out of here for four. Graves down. You know, let's just spoopy chili this grave too. Let's just maximize nothing happening on the enemy turn. Nice, Xerox. Awesome stuff. That kills the ghost, that kills the grave. Okay, at least Bash still has a, a damage side here. Or still has a shield damage size, rather. Yeah, okay. Exert sticky is a little bit tough here. We don't have a choice. So we could go for a random tier 3 uh, yellow here. Let's just take a quick peek. What we'll be looking at. Wanderer. Curator. Eccentric. Barbarian. Bash. I feel like both Eccentric and Barbarian are big whiff right now, so we're gonna take this. Lowering the HP devalues the stun, but increases the damage here. I think the increased damage is more important. Let's keep Bash true to their name. Yes, we can cleanse Exert. That's true. That's a great use of the remedy. Thank you. I think we're moderately well set up for the, the Lich fight. I think two mana is kind of a goal here to, to weaken the Lich. Or maybe we save that for a bone summon round. Let's roll it. A single use that's really good. Really good. Okay. Oh, even better. Well, 
Is this just Petrify? Petrify is not the worst. We could pre-cleanse one of the two Petrifies. Or we can just let it ride. I guess we can cleanse that at any time we want to. Does anyone know if you're holding a dice that's on the Petrify side, if you pull it in and then remedy yourself, do you get to reveal which side it was? Having just said that out loud, I'm going to do this a bit of science. Yeah, clearing all three bones and uh, hitting the Lich is definitely a good start here. Two mana is great. See if we roll a petrify side here. Test my theory. That's nice. Yeah, it should clear the one you're holding. I don't see why it wouldn't. Front row slam a jamma. There it is. What do we even do here? We're, we're over. I guess we just deal damage then. Probably a little uh, overkill on that, but hey. We even still have our chill available, which we're going to lock in right now. Mute. Oh, stun can happen this round, I think. Should be pretty close. Now nah, let's roll it. Damage would be king. Yeah, let's go for the weekend here. Let's go weaken and let's go remedy. I don't know. I kind of want to save this for a summon. Oh, hey, check this out. Oh, we can't reach the lich with that. I was thinking we could uh, stun here, but it's just not not quite a reality. Still a good round nonetheless. We'll save the remedy for if we roll the petrified side, so I am going to burst here. Weaken all enemies. This is a good chill one, too. Okay, let's test this out real fast. So if I say done rolling and then I remedy here. Okay, it didn't get that side. That one did, though. Interesting. So it probably cleanses a random side, and whether it's the side you're holding or not remains to be seen. I think locking this in to use the Curon is actually the right call, because we have five petrified sides there. Or, you know, we're just going to get the kill right here. That's fine, too. Boom, get roasted. All right, jump. All keywords from the left side. Add all keywords from the left side to the top and bottom sides. Replace the left side with blank. Add cantrips to all sides with exactly one pip. That's quite good on Glacia. Three mana gain sides with cantrip. Oh, good. Tier three heroes minus one max HP or slippery dice can only lock two of five. I already turned this one down because I didn't like the idea of it. Ooh, if we win this fight, we're going to have the 13 curse uh, unlock. Mm -hmm. 
We're gonna take the minus one HP. All right, mana for nothing. Vampire getting quite hammered by the snipers here. I am unopposed to just rolling here. Two damage on Guardians, probably one of his best sides as well for the opener. Let's roll it. Okay, two mana sounds awesome. That's definitely good. Daisy Do, you're like the champion of finding treats on the ground. What more is there to say? All right, so we're going to go here and then we're going to cleanse the excerpt. Oh, excerpt does not cleanse off. OK, that's fair. Probably still taking that hit, but I was unaware. I also don't necessarily have to do that. of an opening round. You know what? Let's just save the bash for fun. Hoet instead of Guardian. I, I do like Hoet. The, we have three other characters to give mana to, so the the odds of this shield too generous being pretty beefy is high. Shield one to all allies boost. Interesting. Yeah, we'll take Bowen. active modifiers. Oh my god. Well. I mean, out of all the things you can open with, removing an entire unit is definitely a pretty good one. That can't be wrong. Uh, this being sticky is kind of painful. Let me check if I can uh, cleanse exert here. Okay, so exert's not a status effect you can clear. That's fair. Like we're gonna be saving Dabbler this round. Also, heal on Dabbler does save them here. That's um. Probably okay. Now yeah, we can do better. Indeed. Ouch. That's a bit of a whiff round right there. All good though, we'll weaken up the spiker here and we'll save the dabbler. That's good for hitting the spiker. This is great block and getting better. Damages the null, damages the null. I'm going to take everything here just to simplify this round. Plus one reroll, replace the left side with dodge all damage enemy effects here. So that's a dead side for us, unfortunately. 
add pair to the top and bottom sides. Two times it has the previous tips is the same as last this turn. Okay, well, I don't think that's awful on Glacia. Also, Boots of Speed are pretty alright on Poa because this is sticky right now. I guess it would remain to be sticky um, with the curse. So we'd be stuck on a sticky with no mana gain then. But have plus one reroll total. I kind of like the plus one reroll here. We already have some cantrip synergy, and we have the possibility to get more cantrip with the Dabbler upgrade. Hmm. Here is admittedly pretty good here as well. Well, this side is not, uh, is not generous. That's the one that's added in. What does the generous thing read? Maybe the generous is attack and shields. No, add generous to all sides. I think this actually allows us to get out. Let's do a little science here. Okay, so we're going to copy this. Copy state to clip war for pace. Yes. We're going to quit, not flee. Woo! All right, a bunch of stuff unlock. Then we're gonna go uh, modes, creative, paste. We're gonna paste it. We're gonna take these and we're gonna see if it works the way we want. Okay, it does remove the sticky from this side, and we get one more reroll. Now we're gonna go back to curse mode. Continue five fifty five. What's this? Get defeated in curse mode. Win a fight with 13 curses. We did that? Oh, I bet we have to have this unlock first. Okay. Or... This is on curse typer. Anywho, boots of speed work here. One of my favorite features about this game is the ability to uh, do exactly that. If you're not sure about how something works, you just hop out and try it. Yo, Radver, thanks for 118 months. Really appreciate that. Having a good one. Thank you. Okay. Well, two mana on Glacia is not bad, but reducing something like this might be better. Does this inflict pain? It does. So we could cure the pain with Soothe and save him this round. And if we do that, we can just not take any damage. We don't attack the blind runs, the point I'm getting around to. I think this is what we're going to do. Oh, maybe I take that back. Okay, Bash is at 6 right now. If we use the save on it, that bring it to 11 damage. So we can kill one of the demons this round. With this setup. I think we unlock Poet and lock in Bash. Okay, well... This seems quite adequate. Probably should have let Glacia go through more rerolls because they have the cantrips, but. And then we can use Weaken on this demon. 
stops eight damage seems adequate. All right, great. Okay, well this stuns the snake. Yeah, keep him coming. Ooh, big block too. Maybe we just grab big block on Poet. I think this looks very adequate myself. I can't target myself. Son of a gun. That's true, man. Okay, even that self-block does not target ourselves. Good to know. That turned out quite nice. kills the demon, and then we can work on the snake here. I think this is actually good. Keep him rolling. That'll do it. Oh, he has pain on that side. That's tough. Assassin is pretty decent. Uh, I don't see why not. Then we replace the two sides of the wrist blade to get rid of this uh, dead side there. Also, two poisons good. Let's go. Okay, you had spells. So we're going to put the wrist blade on the assassin. Ah, uh, it's only blank sides. Okay, still good. Okay, we may want to put the boots on the assassin this time to give them a chance at dodging the Tarantus attack. I think that's a fair, uh, fair call. Yo, VG Mangoes, thanks for that tier 216 months. Thank you so much for that sub support. I'll just keep saying it. A recurring sub is the best way to support this content. Thank you all for that uh, amazing support and generosity. So, so grateful to be here uh, 12 years into doing this. Enjoying it more than ever. You're all awesome. Mm, what's that brand of pots we have? All clad. Because those have been pretty good. All right, Tyrantus, you stinky spoods, get over here. Sincerely hoping we roll three weaken this round. I mean, not bad for stopping damage on Vampire. This is actually a pretty sick roll. Until Taranta starts summoning a bunch of spiders, that is. But, like, I can avoid the poison uh, from Tarantus with the orange dye here. 
Well, I guess with that, I'm going to toss back the uh, the block. Now that saves Vampire too. Like with taking this, we essentially take no damage. Do we get any damage out? We kill one spider with this. Uh, killing one spider seems a little bit weak. Bash really isn't going to do better unless it's the middle side. I don't think Assassin's going to do better either. Now, this doesn't do everything that I want. It's enough. So we'll stop the poison here. We're just going to dodge completely. We're going to mana up. We're going to block on Vampire. Nobody died. That's the turn. Kind of like we're starting the fight with uh, three mana. Okay, three weakens, pretty nifty. This is also very nifty, because we're about to have five mana, so this will save the poet. I certainly don't mind slapping Tarantus in the face here, but let's roll. Double use. One more. Alright, alright, that's something. So while we can use this with save, I think the immediate goal should probably be just killing one of the one of these spiders with the sit six damage. Burst here. Huh. Well how close are we to being saved here? Hold on, before we burst, uh what does this do? Cannot target self. Oh heck. Oh heck. Oh, it might be dying here because I did that. Huh. I mean, with save, we can definitely save him. Let me just hit here real quick. And then like this. Still a bit of a yikes. I think if we're able to, at the very least, get Assassin not taking damage, getting poison on Tarantus, we're off to a pretty good start here. Ooh, hold on. Okay, we have all this mana to work with. We know we're blocking on Assassin. What if we use the plus one to all pips here? Then we get three poison on Tarantus. This is tempting, but I don't think it's better than just killing off the other spiders here. I think we gotta accept the two poison. Oh, hold up. No, we got this. We can get three poison this round, which is huge. Okay, so we're going to use the mana. We're going to go here. We're going to bash a spider in the face. We're going to block for assassin. Oh, sorry. We're going to bash a spider in the face. This one. Poison. Weaken. He lives. And might as well not use the burst here, because it's not... It's not hurting anything.
Still have save available too, that's great. Well. Exert does how much? Seven. Not getting there this turn. I'm not sure I want to exert, but it is sticky, so we got to keep it. Also does not save Poet. It's kind of rough. Infuse looks all right here. Hard to turn down four mana. Let's roll. Doesn't save himself, unfortunately. Okay, that's great. Okay, it's going to kill Assassin if I use that, so we're just going to chill on that for right now. Heal one cleanse single cast. Uh, not yet. Okay, we're hoping to save Assassin here, so we need to roll for the, uh, the dodge at the very least. Stun's actually probably very good here, too. The current health count. Hey, we landed on it. That's, um, very fortunate. Oh, snap. It's not quite, huh? Okay. That's still fine. We're not getting the stun. I could have countered that out better. Uh, we can still use save here to save the uh, poet, so all's well. All right, Exert gets the kill. Hit that spoon real hard, though, right in the face. Okay, four mana spark, add mana gain to target sides this turn. Imagine using this on uh, uh, the large poet block or even the, the shield bash. Inspired two times that the previous dice used this turn was higher. Well, we can get this higher than five. This is also higher than five. Greatsword seems pretty okay on Poet. I mean, it's, a, it's still five damage at minimum. Boy hounds. I think a guaranteed 5 damage sounds better than the potential for 10 damage. Or the potential for a, a power play. Oh, minus 2 HP on tier 3 heroes or archery training. Archer and sniper plus 2 pips to all sides. This seems like it's going to kill a run in the early game. Like we're going to get through a loop and then uh, archer and sniper is going to devastate us. Leaning between arthritis or random curse in this scenario. Fourteen curse is pretty intense, man. What floor are we on right now? Fifty-seven. We're doing it.
Yeah, I'm gonna take arthritis here. Don't worry, Bash is fine. He's got a cracked plate. Everything's cool, man. Yeah, man. Okay, five damage dunks a wisp. Was higher, so this doesn't activate it. This also kills a sniper, so that's pretty tempting. Uh. Okay, if I hit a caw with like this, the bash would kill both wisps here, because we'd have four mana after that. Seems like everybody lives and everything's fine if I do this. Um, I suppose even without it, it's fine. Let's just roll again. Not super stoked on the hammer. Two mana's okay. There are worse hits than the hammer. Let's go done rolling here. We got the two mana pickup. So we are going to hit the Caw. Then we're going to hit the Wisp here. Then we're going to hit the Wisp here. Oh. Take it back. We're going to hit the Wisp here. We're going to shoot the car here. And go like this. Boom, get roasted. Well, uh, Warlock or Glacia? I am liking Glacio with his extra pips, but... Oh, we lose the cantrip sides here, too, if we take that. It's tough. This might be one of those scenarios where I don't swap. Yo, Kelda, thanks for that great 108. Appreciate that. Also, Warlock is incredible for Monogen, and this Blaze spell is legit. I'm going to give this one a thunk. I'm just going to take a quick break here at a 5 hours, 15 minute mark of this run. It's going to chill out for a minute. encourage you to do the same. Um, let me know what you think about this Warlock choice versus Glacia, or even versus Random. Be right back.
All right, I'm back. I got to check one thing here. We're going to look in the heroes. I'm curious if the tooltip is showing the minus health. Uh, Warlock is here. Yeah, Warlock has eight health and then it has six here because we have the double arthritis curse tier three heroes minus two max HP. It's actually a really good justification to stay with Glacia and not level up. Um, while some of the tier three heroes abilities could be slightly nicer, we already have good item synergy here. And we're not going to be losing that HP. So it's actually kind of a downgrade uh, for this pick. And random random could be better, could be worse, but this is working right now. So it's skip. It also helps us our last level up choice. So we don't have to worry about wasting any more uh, level three level ups. Only uh, two fights remain before the boss. Yo, Blitzgate in. Thanks for 16 months. Thank you. Big fight, man. Okay, five damage ain't gonna be wrong. This kills the zombie. Nice. This has to hit Target must have most HP, so that's Demon. Uh, I'm rolling it. That's the one right there. Okay, so we're going to get a 10 damage hit on this now. Hell yeah. So taking out a Fanatic is possible here. Suppose taking out a Demon is also possible. Go like this, and like this. And you know what? Sure, let's just take it out. See where we're at. I mean, what if we take out the one that's hitting Glacia super hard instead? Or we split the difference here. That certainly looks pretty good. Both fanatics die. Demon is severely weakened. Yeah, that's the play. <laughs> Gotta tell you, this blessing we got, this uh, Essence Thief, has been super good. It has to be one of the better uh, blessings. I don't know what all the blessings are, but I can tell you that one's been operating at a very high level. Big bada boom. Chaos Wand, replace the middle side with one damage, single use, cleave, engage, self heal, weaken, vulnerable. Alright, so we can use it once, it hits three enemies, it does double damage if they're full health, it heals us for two, it makes them do two less uh, on every pip that turn, and it makes them vulnerable. Okay. Not bad. Emerald Mirror. Gain the effects of all tier 6 through 8 items on other heroes. What do we have? We have Boots of Speed. Okay, so this would be a potential replacement for the Poet's Boot. It would give us an additional reroll. It's level 1. Level 8. Replace Middle Side with Damage Inspired. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you could cantrip the Chaos Wand, but it will use the single use on it. I am completely unopposed to a random 8 or 10 item, too. I mean, there's some very good stuff here. I think the Emerald Mirror is uh, a little bit tempting. Ooh, we get Sparks as well. Wow. Not really any other good one pip heroes to work that off of.
Let's say, for example, we put the great sword here. And then we put the um, emerald mirror on on poet. Then we'd have on poet's middle, we'd have the uh, five damage attack instead of the two shield all, which does not hit poet. And replacing the left hand sticky side would be the dodge all damage. I think that's quite adequate. It's a pretty big upgrade. Emerald Mirror Pick. That's us. Unlocks an item. Nice. If we had any one uh, one sides, we'd it'd also have Cantrip from Sparks. But Glacia is our only one pip uh, synergy. All right, I anticipate this fight's going to suck a bit because this is 30 damage to our heroes represented between these three chomps. Okay, that looks good. Also, is it doing damage to top or bottom first? Top most. Okay, we'll block then and looking for maximum damage is the play. Yep, four year rolls now, that's right. We might as well just look for the best. Uh, the two monocyte is the best for vampire. Uh, I don't think the bash is correct right now. Okay, stun's interesting. Also, big damage here. Stun actually doesn't do us much good, does it? Last one. You know, that could have been worse. Uh, we can now... Oh, this is the non-valid target dodge. Oh, man. I did that to myself. We're still okay here, but ouch. Assassin has two sides. One's, one I can't use it myself and one I can. Okay, so I'm going to save here. I'm going to hit the barrel. All right. Okay, now we also have a 10 damage hit on this with that. Wow. Okay, hold on. There's something here. Okay, we grab the mana. We go here. Then we go... Here again. Here. Here. Almost. Heal two, heal one. So close. Okay. That's very good, especially considering we made a mistake the first. We get to, we got 15 damage out of the fight, uh, and we're still surviving. Mana for block looks quite good. Uh, there's the dodge we wanted last time. Um, interesting. But no. All right, cool.
you know, I probably chill this round. Cool. All right, here's the block to save Glacia. This is four of the five damage needed. Is this it? Two, four, six. Yeah, we're good. Okay, uh, here we are. Inevitable. Become immune to damage uh, this turn every fifth HP. One does uh, has skills that get more powerful the longer battle's been going on. Okay. Wizard's interesting because we do have all the, the one pips there. So that's like definitely something. So we'd have uh can trip everything with inspire. Target hero can use their dice again. Hmm. Who's gonna use their dice again? Bash. Bash would use their dice again. Yeah, I don't know, this three weekend and the cantrips we already have, uh, I kind of feel like Wizard is Glacia with less HP, and then this side is worse. Heavy self-heal era. Okay. Not the best weakened target. Agreed, wizard needs some plus pip stuff to excel. Well. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the four damage hit. I can't re-roll this. Let's just roll here. There we go. Uh, we don't have any mana gain yet, so this is a little dubious. So between this and the Glacia hit, that would solve some problems. Also noticing here that three, two of the Wists are healing, so that does uh, alleviate some pressure too. What's going to be better on Poet? The five damage hit is much better. Not bad, not bad. Additionally, we get mana here for for hitting, so this is pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit the Wisp right here. Even though we will be exerted next round, still seems pretty valuable. Well, part of me says this is a waste of the the weaken, but the other part of me says we need to finish this fight as quickly as possible. What if we took... Yeah, it's not, not a good... Not a good clink. Yes, there is a max amount of enemies on board, though they will go into reserve and spawn from off-screen. They will not receive a roll on that turn. All right, I'm going to use it here to escalate this opener. Uh, I feel like this fight is it's a race. You got to be able to defeat the inevitable in time. Um, so getting the ads out of the way has to be first priority. So I'm going to severely miss that weekend on these turns. 
tough. At least we have remedy and save. Yeah, I stand by that. Oh, they gained max HP? Oh, I didn't understand that. Okay. Probably would have killed those then. Not roll more than four dice at once. Okay, we'll lock. Uh, we'll lock exert because that's that's that's, uh, that's just how it is. That kills the bottom wisp before it summons a bones. This almost kills the other one. Great. I'm gonna lock that because it kills kills off all the uh, the wisps. Do pain. Oh, thank you, S'more. What'd you bring? You brought Trickster all the oh, leggy llama, even better, all the way over here. Blessed day to be me. Leggy llama in the house. He's doing a self heal this round too, so it's got to be just killing the Wispier. How much mana are we starting this round with? We still have rerolls too, dang. Okay, if we have four here, I can uh, use this, which boosts everybody's die by one. Let's we'll see if this makes any functional difference. Okay, it uh, definitely doesn't seem worse. Don't think chill's worth it here. I think we just go for the double burst and uh, have him go spectral this round. Okay. So our goal is to get at least one of these pips off every round, uh, if not two pips. There's always a zebra mouse somewhere. Always. Exert cleave. So if I cleanse this, do I cleanse my the exert? Not convinced on that one. Well, this does mad damage. This does save somebody. That's pretty tempting. Let's take those two. Cool. That's great. Keep it rolling. Woo! Mana Contrip coming in clutch. Let me check something else here. Let me try remedy. Okay, this uh, you can pre-cleanse exert, but you can't cleanse it once it's already gone off. So we're going to save Glacia, and then we're also going to remedy... Remedy vampire. Okay, first, let's block. Block here, then hit for 10. Okay, before we do that, we're gonna hit for five. Nice, right, so we're gonna through two pips here. This is huge. Huge. Yeah, I did the remedy in a different order there. Let's 
Seven mana remaining. Okay, so there's a way I can cheese more damage here. We go burst. Now we save Glacia and Remedy. We save... We save Poet. Seems a better compromise for the amount of HP we have. Oh, I want Glacia Remedy from Exert next round. Yeah, this looks a lot cleaner. We'll even toss out a heal here with the excess mana. And I gotta back it up, hit for 10 properly. Okay. Now's a fine time to hit for 10. Gonna remedy Glacia. Hmm. Looks good. No, we're not going to be stunning this round, that's for sure. Oh, it adds exert here. Okay, okay, I see. So it can still be cleansed before using it. That's interesting. Not roll more than four at a time. Okay, we'll lock uh, we'll lock this inoffensive. That's gonna be a big money hit here. I love it. All right, here we go. Actually, no, that's not gonna hit. Let's block an assassin here. Can only do one hit on this in this case. Really nice find. Wow. Guess who's dying right now? Cursed Bolt. Nice. Extra reroll or essence capture? All heroes upon death, plus one mana. Ugh. I think extra reroll is uh, pretty valuable. All right, here before the uh, start of our third loop, I think we're gonna we're gonna stop there on slice and dice for today. That was nice. Six hours of curse. We'll definitely be back to the conclusion of this run. Uh, however, we're not done yet. We're gonna hop into the Spelunky two daily to round out uh, round this one out. A scoundrel fighter, wall up healer, cultist. This is actually a really nice opening setup, especially cultist with the uh, the essence steel that we have. All right, we'll be back. I'm very surprised how far we made it on our first cursed attempt. It's definitely challenging, but I like the I like the difficulty gradient uh, that way. I don't mind playing on unfair either. We got our first unfair victory last time we played, but uh, having to take like the figure out what's the best of the worst monster curses is kind of tough. This way you get to kind of like stack things that are, uh, you know, difficult to deal with, but still manageable at the same time. Fight 61 next time. Out of all the slice and dice I've played, that was my favorite mode so far.
All right, into the mine shaft we go, little J. All right, penguin in the hole. Penguin to the moon, you wouldn't, would you, sir? Penguin to the moon. All right, penguin 180, turn around, chair, sit down, coming up. Close enough. Try again, though. All right, a little early on that. A little early on that? Okay, one more. Weird. Try it again. I've been consistently early on every throw. Let's just walk over here, walk back, get our revenge. There it is. Thank goodness we warmed up. Spelunky 2 daily begins right about now. Yo, Blitz Gideon, thanks for an awesome 16 if I missed you earlier. Just thank you all for that amazing support today. I'll be patient. Okay, not going down there, but we'll grab this. You betcha. This looks safe enough. That sounds fun, Meltover. I was definitely uh, interested in trying out some runs like that. My first run with House Cat turned out to be really good. Okay, what's over here? Glove. We love glove. I'll be back for that, uh, them glasses right there. Okay, here's the dwelling area. Good to see. 100 off glasses now. It was sprongs. We can make it back up here. Let's just check it out. Hey there, Rimsy. Good to see you. I can get that gold there. It's a tough one, though. It's not going to allow us to get the present either way, so I'm just going to buy the glasses and move along. We're definitely solidified in the Volcana route now that we have Green Glove. Also, the route I've been taking uh, generally. It's the route I've taken the least. Well, then. the other turkey huh i don't know the problem is that we can just bomb yang here 
So if we're gonna use a bomb to get a turkey to see inside Turkey Town, wouldn't we rather get everything? Huh. Um, I think I can get Poochie back to the the shrine at the start of this level. It's gonna be a stretch, but it's possible. Why do you do this to me, game? One moment. You ready to do something disgustingly sketchy? Because I am. Oh, it wasn't even this level. <laughs> All right, that's fair. That's fair. You got me. You got me. Well maneuvered, Jay. Just did it to show that you could. I understand. Big bada boo. Just checking. Just checking. Hey, it's a kidders. I want to pet the kidders. Kidders, kidders, kidders. Nobody can stop the double turkey stack. Alright, there's the key to rescue Van Horsing. Good. Oh, man. Kind of a bad place to be a turkey dude, just saying.
Okay, here we go. All right, Bo is here. Shouldn't have gone there yet, but I did. But I did. Could be out of bomb for that decision, since we went there without finding the bow. Plenty of room to spare, apparently. Okay, bow in hand. Let's go. Actually, quite sketchy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hold, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Yeah, this seems a lot cool. And whatever was going on over there, because that was not cool. Later, Tater. Alright, it's gonna be a spicy drill. Here we go. Alright, there's a bit of lava on my drill. That's fair. Could be a lot worse. Magmar falling down that way is not ideal. We're just gonna wait here a minute and Hope for the best on the way down. It's some lava, but not the amount that you get really concerned about. Almost done dripping. One or two more like that. At least one more here. That lava is done moving. Kapala here. Let's clean up these vamps. Of course. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. It's a lot of vampires in here, man. All right, good luck to me. Me and my army of sweaty men's assembles. Follow me, sweaty lads. Uh, where did I leave the bow? It's in Vlad somewhere. Thought I left it outside.
What? Down here? There it is. That is a really weird place for me to leave the bow. I can safely say I have never left the bow there. Yo, follow me, sweaty men's. Step right up. Best nap of your entire life. Gamble zone, all right. No thanks. We're gonna go temple on this run. It's not like the the best temple, but it's adequate. Oh no! Don't do that. That's fine, I guess. Let's just move this party over for a second. There we go. got the quick method here. That drop down was a little bit troublesome, but still going to be fine. Straight down and up against the side wall here. Decent. Looking great for money here. We have enough to enter the elixir challenge and enough to enter the the in challenge. So we're, our burden for cash is pretty much set up here. I went uh, type pool instead of temple. That's fine. Maybe we'll get eggplant here. That'd be sweet.
Should be the last one here. Indeed. You know, getting the peppers back to that shrine is pretty nice. Six HP here. Not nothing. Yo, shrine on four two. I right, got eggplant chance here, so our turned into a happy accident. I love it. Also, let's just exchange the exchange the pup, the clone gun for health in this case. Yes, it'd be better to bring it for resources, but. At this point in my Splunky 2 playing career, having 99 of all resources is not all that important. It's never harmful. We already have great mobility, so not not overly concerned about resource count. Just a few HP. We're not even going to go for... Uh... We're going for Chilin Skip, so there's really no sense here. Oh man, this is so big. Very big of you game, thank you. We're going to non-chain this. Go kill Humphead and get that present up. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. I'm going to play smart with my eggplant here. I'm going to, you know, clear the level and then come back for it. Wow. What a level. Snapple, thanks for making it official with Prime. Appreciate that consideration. Glad you're enjoying the content enough to even consider. Um, 
Um, I want I want you to die though. There we go. This is the one. Yo, cheer snap. We'll appreciate that. You can do uh, exclam eggplant to get the full quest line. All right, here we go. Already have spike shoes, rope counts, I right. we're just gonna go for it here. That was a very straightforward and uh very lightly populated cave there. Hmm. Oh, dude, that happened to me. For sure. Tough one. Ooh, I'm still wearing my cape. That's exciting. All right, we're still in the game, then. Listen here, no. Nah, kid. Nah, kid. Take a nap right there. That's the one. I gotta go in the casino. I'll be back in a bit. Okay. How is this not the way? Take a nap. Take a big old nap. Right, I'm just gonna wait for a few bubbles here. So since we don't have pace, we do have a little bit of risk um, associated with jumping over to the side on the start of this uh, technique. Otherwise, I think we're good. Might be a little low. That's good. Nice, that was a good, good timing on that pattern. Okay, cool. The kid's right here. Uh, also, a Waddler right here. It's going to clean this up real fast. Okay, there is the... Eggplant area. Dang it. Let's 
going to be cutting a little bit tight on time. That's fine. Save some time here. I'm going to put a bomb right there. Oh, that's nice. Let's, uh... We're entering the challenge in about a minute. This is perfectly acceptable on timing. Oh, there's an item down there. I'm going to grab that on the way back. Well, this definitely is a little bit riskier. I'm going to go ahead and do the whipping technique here because I want to collect the blood. usual, it got a little bit weird. Just the color on uh, Jay's heart. There will be bubbling associated with poison on other hearts. Epic fish. Okay, to eggplant world we go. Nothing here but cool tunes and cool purple. All right. All right. Some eggplant juice too, that's cool. Oh, Empress's Grave, nice. Cool dog you can bounce off of? Hell yeah. right bud don't forget to eat your vegetables though okay now we're back to 99 health and we have the uh, throw an eggplant instead of the whip which has its advantages and disadvantages but pretty nice tool in cosmic ocean because it gives you more reach Just like that. I'm gonna wait. I'm not sure the timing on these blocks. Or I should say I'm not sure if they all went off at the same time. Oh no, this is really bad. Okay, we're fine-ish. Woo! Time for some pep stepping though. Uh-oh, is it gonna happen again? It is. It is. Woo! What a game. All right, we're, we're ahead of Hundun now, that's cool. Neat. Yeah, I bet you're absolutely right that a lot of runs died there. It's a good reminder that you're, you need to go uh, over on that kind of structure. If you go under, that's exactly what happens. It's recoverable, but it sets you back. Didn't get him on that one. That's all right.
boom, 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 boom. All right, one more flame there, bud. Let's go. Bippity bop. You've been bit bopman. All right, sweet. Made it all the way from 1 1 to Cosmic Ocean on the daily. We lost our Ankh along the way, and that's all right. That's what it's for. The toughest part of this Cosmic Ocean will be remembering that I have a, the eggplant. Hmm, it's kind of a tough one to get. Get to the conclusion of this first level. I'm going to uh, take a short break. Per usual, so we're kicking into the daily. There it is. All right, y'all, I'll be back in just a few minutes for the continuation and uh, possible conclusion of the Spelunky 2 Daily, starting Cosmic Ocean right now. All right, I'm back. Cosmic Ocean begins right now. I don't like that 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 one got away. Yeah, that's why. Bottom section is really scary, but really not that big of a deal. Okay, so you're telling me that the last orb is top left. There's something down there by those cursed cats I haven't seen yet. Oh, it's right here by the exit.
This daily is making me work for it. I think I'm already going to place very well on this daily just uh, based on the Hunnun climb <laughs> and the rest of the seed, too. I think if we died right now, it's still, uh, still a pretty good placement. Turns out Spelunky 2 is a very difficult game. But some seeds are more difficult than others. Okay. Oh boy. Must be Spelunky. Alright, so we got bottom right exit here already pre cleared for us. That's nice. Not a place to be. I was actually really close to the Yeti picking me up and throwing me there, which would have been um, less than ideal. Whoa! <laughs> Boy, Splunky 2 sure is a video game, man. Sure is a video game where things can happen. Fun seed so far. Okay, there is a swamp on the exit. That's fine. That sounded like two to me. Oh, no. You've entered the chomper zone. <laughs> oh, man. The swish through the little uh, pocket there. Well played, Crocoman. Fun run. And a very Spelunky death. Can't ask for more than that. Oh, okay, we're reporting after the leaderboard went in. Well, even then, uh, great run. Ooh wee. All right, that's gonna that's gonna complete it for today. Thank you all for the great time. Wonderful company, awesome conversation. As we did that uh, super long curse attempt, still in progress on slice and dice. That was a really fun. We're on floor sixty, I think sixty one. Uh, Grace Flunky two daily as well. Had a great time. Uh, Discord for updates as always. Catch y'all again soon. Until next time, keep it dapper and be good to each other. That's all I got for today. Frag out. Thanks everybody for your wonderful support and this continued experience. We'll do it again soon.